Yo, fellas, what's poppin'? It's your boy, The Glacier. Welcome to a brand new series I just started. It is basically 10 games of every single elo all the way to challenger and i get the best player of whatever champion that we are doing uh to show you what it's like to play at diamond one plus and they're gonna we're, we're gonna make this super epic for you guys okay so this is how it's gonna work i'm partnering up with my boy T uh manko that one of the best teamo players in the entire world multi seasonal challenger player god tier so so amazing uh so we're gonna go i'm gonna place two games of silver gold platinum diamond like all that and he's gonna play two games of diamond one plus probably in master tier or even grandmaster so um he's gonna have his opinions at the end of the video and i'm gonna basically give you guys the rundown of the runes the build everything you guys need to know after being coached by them as well so seriously these these are gonna be banger 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 episodes so watch this entire video all the way through and you guys are gonna love it whatever champion you want to see next comment it down below and we will work on it also tag whoever the the best player of set darius garen whoever you guys want me to work with tag them and i'll reach out to them and we'll keep this series going forever all right boys all right fellas so i'm going to show you two different rune pages here and they're completely different play styles one of them i personally love and one of them i personally don't like but it is used by most of the best team of players in the entire world and it is it's, it's this one so it's grasping and dying and essentially the reason why this is so popular and you know everything else isn't as popular is because of stride breaker and all this all the amount of uh, mobility that there is but now that um mobility is basically cucked it's basically ruined now after this patch comes out the regular room page is going to be good but anyway in the meantime you kind of want to play a tank teemo play style which is basically going to be grasp of the undying demolish second wind and overgrowth obviously switch these things up if you're going against you know riven jacks the the melee people that are actually going to destroy you camille go bone plating and you go overgrowth if you need the tenacity feel free to go unflinching but typically this is going to be your page and then you go taste of blood ravenous hunter once you get riff maker with this build you end up being like a, a 1v9 god later on um, and then again, attack speed, adaptive force, and either armor or magic resist. Now, personally, my favorite freaking playstyle so far, I, I have been murdering at all ranks. Silver all the way to diamond. This works so well for me personally because I play very aggressive. I like to snowball my lane. I like to carry my games. Um, this is much easier to do that. When you go grasp, you pretty much are useless until the midpoint in the game, until you have about two or three items. So you're going to go press the attack, triumph, alacrity, and coup de gras, and then by default, go taste the blood, wrath hunter. But there are those times where kiting is more important than healing. Um, and I find that Nimbus Cloak, Celerity, or even Nimbus Cloak Transcendence are insanely OP um, like I, I was going against a singed and this helped me kite singed out all day. I and mean, a lot, even a lot of the melee people that you just need to be able to kite them. This is honestly better in my opinion into a lot of matchups. So if you need the movement speed to kite people out, take this. If not, this is great for just pretty much everything. And then by default, again, you go attack speed, adaptive force armor. Now the, the rune, the people that still run this rune page are two of the highest ranked team of players in the world. Um, they're both, I think master tier and one of them should, I think they're both master tier grandmaster plus and they're in korea so obviously they're you know they're on the super server and they're destroying people with this build now i'm sorry with the runes now let's talk about the build all right fellas so plain and simple uh this right here you see right here rift maker nasher's tooth zonia's morello this is basically the build you're going to build a majority of the time when you're against ad heavy team comps which is a majority of the time it seems to be so um this works with grasp or if you're running press the attack this is the build that you go a majority of the time a majority of the time however there are situations where you're not going to want to uh, build exactly like this in fact one of my favorite things i have been doing into most situations if you're not against a super tank top lane and you're against someone that is actually that you're actually beating your 1 0, your 2 0, you're snowballing into them. Rushing Nasher's Tooth first, as opposed to Rift Maker, is such a disgusting snowball. It's such a fast, quick snowball. Um, this is what the Korean guy does. He goes Nasher's Tooth first, and then he goes into Rift Maker or other stuff after that. And you can only do this when you are snowballing and you're ahead, because if you do this when you're behind, oh my God, you're digging a grave. So that's the only time that you can do that. And specifically when you're running the PTA build, okay? 
So let's just talk about the other options here. So the other options are Lyandry. Some Teemo players build this, but very rarely because it's not better. It's really not better than Riftmaker unless their whole team is just health gods, right? Zach, Sejuani. I don't even know who else. I don't even know who else stacks crazy health, but if you see people stacking like Warmogs and all this crap, three or more, maybe even four of them, right? Lyandry's is going to be absolutely God tier because it's going to um, amplify with their HP, with their max health. So if they, if you don't see three to four uh, health stackers on their team, like we're talking, these guys are building like multiple health items. Like the mid laner could even be building Morellos, Rallies, you know, kinds of stuff like that. Um, or even if they could even be building just anything health related, that's when you're going to want to build this. Now I find if I'm really, really fed, like I'm three and oh, four and oh in the top lane, there's no chance of me dying. I can smurf on this game all day. What I'll do is I'll go Nasher's tooth into night harvester, and then I'll go into like Zonia's and figure out what else I want to build. Um, I love, I love this build. It's so destructive. It's so disgusting. I, I legitimately dropped like almost 30 kills in a diamond game recently with this. It, it's that good. Trust me. It's that good. Um, now the other items that you can build, there's, there are other items in this, but I find a majority of the time I am building only these items that you see like pretty much right here. I'm building these items a majority of the time. It's very rare that you're going to be so fed that you can start building things like Lich Bane Rabadons, right? Or even Cosmic Drive. Um, again, I find Cosmic Drive syncs so damn well with Celerity and Nimbus Cloak against like you're going against Singe top lane, you know, Riven top lane. Any, any people that you need to kite like crazy, this is such an amazing, amazing tool to get. And then obviously if they start stacking a million MR items uh, later on in the game, Void Staff is a great uh, fifth item, fourth item. It's, it's amazing. And then another super smurf, amazing, amazing item you can build is let's say they have a Zac, right? And I've been playing against Zac all day today. If they have a Zac and Zac wants to engage on you from downtown, there's pretty much no way to avoid Zac. There's, it's almost impossible. Even with like great positioning, you're going to get jumped on, right? Um, I love Banshee's Veil because it stops me from getting like permanently CC'd by like a Morgana binding or just random Zac ease into you. It's such a great tool for stopping yourself from getting caught out constantly into, into those AP team comps. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much the build. I mean, like there's tons of other AP items that I'm sure will do really well on Teemo, but as it stands, man, this is the, th I've been having the most success with this. I have been, I've, I've been absolutely destroying and all the top ranked Teemo players in the world do this too. And uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's hop into the games now. All right, fellas. <clears throat> so we are starting off this series, starting off a brand new shebang in Silver Elo. And really, I'm going to be honest with you. I think silver um, is actually very easy to climb out of. And I'm going to tell you why. Come relative to like gold and plat and the other elos you guys are going to see. It's easy because if you just take the right runes, you build, the, you build correctly 100% of the time. And you watch the best players, what they do and copy them. Legitimately, in like 20, 30 games of doing that, you will be gold. There's there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Yo, fellas, real quick, super big announcement. Okay, so pay attention. Next Monday on the 28th, I will be returning to Twitch. And this is the exciting part, okay? The people that built Dr. Disrespect's old stream, I have partnered up with them, and they built me the most extravagant thing that you're going to see on Twitch, okay? We made a whole world. I'm not going to give away. I'm not going to spoil anything, but just know you guys need to show up at 2 p.m. on the 28th on Monday, okay? PST time, by the way. Also, I will periodically be giving away skin codes, RP codes, all kinds of stuff like that throughout the week. So make sure you guys are showing up, especially on Monday. We're going to have a big surprise for you guys. Okay, so I'll see you guys there. Do not auto push minion waves ever, 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 ever. Trust me. It is the absolute worst thing you can do. Notice how I'm just going with the flow. I'm letting the wave just push nice and slow, nice and chill, nice and chill. And when he and he walk if he walks up to last hit, I'll slap him in the face, right? Okay, ouch, it's gonna hurt. Just kidding, no it won't. He only had one grave, that's why I managed if he had three, that's gonna hurt, you know. Okay, Kane looks like he's looking for Zach. This is good. I can pay attention now. I want you guys to see something though. It's 14 to 2 CS just because I'm slow pushing and not letting him come up here and fight. Again, the second he walks up here, I smack him around. 
Again, if he walks up, I smack him. You got to be ready to get those three autos in with the Q. That's what you're looking for. Okay, just denied him right there. This is a free dive. Hopefully my cane comes here. If anything, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you guys how to dive without help. Beautiful. That actually worked out so much better. Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. No, 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 no. So that worked out. Um, I ended up actually tanking for him because I knew he was going to get trapped. I mean, I guess he probably could have gotten out, but it's okay. Um, I think Yorick still has flash. Yeah, he does. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go double dagger, pair of boots, control ward. Um, I still have ignite. I still have everything up and he has no flash actually for seven minutes. So I'm going to put the pressure on him hard here and go for a kill because now he has nothing. So I can just get that easy kill. But as you can see, we have a huge wave pushing into us. So we have to make sure the wave doesn't become too overwhelmingly big. So we're going to start trimming it down. And now we see where Zachary is. Uh, Zach's going to probably look to come back top side. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a little ward ski just to make sure he can't. And there he is, as predicted. There's nothing else for him to do. So what's he going to do? Gank, right? And he's going to keep staying here. This is what silver players do a lot. They'll go for a gank, even though they know it's a terrible idea. You see, right? They'll keep doing stuff like that. And he'll probably stay. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay. That could have been really bad. I kept running because I knew his Q range was actually pretty big. So, oh, thank the gods. Oh, that was too close for comfort, but it worked out. If he got me there, that was really good for him. I didn't respect the uh, the goober gobs, right? The goober gobs getting that slow on you. It's too easy for him to land that. So you got to be careful. The goober gobs. Man, I'd love to recall right now, but I can't. We're in a really terrible position here. We are in such a bad spot. Uh, I'm going to go back. So here's a cool thing you can take advantage of in silver. So if you're playing at a challenger level, this is slow pushing into him and he's not going to push. But because this guy's a silver player, he doesn't understand uh, like wave management, right? I'm actually going to probably do this, Sork Shoes. He doesn't understand wave management, so he's not going to let it push into him and then freeze. He is going to push the, the wave into me, as you can see. See? Very simple, right? And now look, then he makes the mistake of summoning the ghouls. And now he's not denying me anything because he doesn't understand the very basic principles of the game, right? And now I take advantage of it. So that's why I decide to recall. So when you, when you know how to do these things, when you know the basic fundamentals of the game, you can abuse anyone of any elo constantly like this. Okay, we're not going to go for a freeze because we're Teemo. We can't. Mm, might as well go for the kill. He's got no TP. I don't think we can get him though. One, two. Ah, dang it. Next best thing though, we'll push this out. And if he stays, we can dive him. And usually... A majority of the time, this, this Yorick would stay in this situation. Okay, he has no TP, so we're going to take at least one plate here and deny him two minion waves. So make sure you don't go too far ahead here. So watch what I do here. I'm going to focus all, everything I have on clearing this wave. Oh, shit. Can't really help him. This is more important than helping him, to be honest with you. Way more important. So we won't be able to get two plates because we don't have Nasher's Tooth. But I am going to be working on it. Now, at this point, uh, I'll probably just recall, to be honest with you. Mm, wait a minute. No, I can go for a cheese kill. I can go for a cheese kill here. Oh, he hit six. Never mind. Okay. Uh, okay, we put ourselves in a pretty bad spot. Ah, we put ourselves in a bad spot. Damn it. I thought I was way further ahead of him, to be honest with you. Okay. I have to stay. Now, if that was a cannon wave, I would have not stayed. Okay. I mean, I would have recalled if it was cannon. 
All right, I'm actually going to let this push into me. Just keep letting it go. You don't want to miss CS, my friends. It's the last thing you want. Just about wave control. Oh, that was nice. Well played. Oh, free gold for me, though, right? Nice. Okay, I'd love to get a fast push on this, but we are in danger of Zach ganking us. So we're going to play towards the north side of the lane here. North side of the lane. Simply because if Zach comes, he's going to only be able to come to the south side of the lane. Unless he's in in lane, then that'd be pretty impressive, but I don't think he will be. Also, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that this guy is silver. This is not a good recall, what I'm about to do. Oh, actually, it is. Never mind. We're fine. We're fine. Hard shove. Hard shove. Okay, got to be very careful of him trying to all in us because he can kill us so easily right now. Let him tank all those minions if he wants. If he wants to freeze it, go for it. Usually they won't. All right, beautiful. 69 CS. Oh, Miguel. Okay, let's go back. Get this. Get this. Um, we have a control word already. Um, I guess I could get leeching Leer here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Awkward gold values, but th this will help out a lot. And now I should be able to get back in time to hopefully miss no minions here, but let's see. Yeah, we're not going to miss any minions. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Buys us all that time. Okay. Um, I don't know where Yorick is. Now, again, go with the flow of the waves. It's much easier to 1v1 someone when you have a massive creep wave on your side as opposed to just like hard shoving and you guys ping-ponging back and forth and nothing is ever getting done without jungler presence. Plus, Yorick is actually very scary. He could, to be honest with you, he could easily 1v1 us if he catches us in that little, you know, circle of death with the goober gobs, right? It's pretty easy for him. It's not hard. All right, but now check this out. Level nine to level seven because I am controlling the waves. So literally just by playing the, the lane phase correctly, I'm just two levels ahead of him now. I didn't even I didn't even do much, right? This is all you guys got to do. You just got to go with the flow. Okay, nothing happens there. Now, another thing you can do too is when he wants to last hit. Interesting ults. That's probably why. Okay. All right, we're very lucky. We are very lucky. That was a very weirdly synced situation, but we're, we're very lucky that uh, he did not send me to the shadow realm there. They could have. Okay. Now, the cool thing about if uh, York ever ults too early like that. There it is. Figured he'd be doing that. If he ever ults too early. Oh, shit. Okay, thank God. Uh, you get to do this. Ah, he ran away too quickly. Damn it. I'm going to say he sits behind for a second and it's really easy to kill to kill it. And then once he has no maiden, he is literally you. He's so useless. Like watch this. See? And now he has absolutely nothing besides Zach, but I have that warded so I can see if Zach's there or not. So now I'm going to get in this guy's face. There's literally nothing he can do to me besides throw that E, which isn't really enough damage. And again, I'm not going to push. I'm not going to push because we don't want to give him farm, right? We want to put him in this really uncomfortable position. And you do this by just chilling. Just, just let the minions be. Don't mess with them. Do not mess with them. I think Zach is on the bottom side of the map now. Yorick's ultimate should be up in like, I don't know, 20 seconds. I'm going to do this. He's going to throw his E. Is Zach here? Wait, why did I get pinged? What happened? Shit. All right. 
too tanky. Way too tanky. Come on, man. Really? I, to be honest with you, I thought he'd turn around and fight. I really did. I really thought he'd turn around and fight. That's why I ulted. Or that's why I flashed. All right. Okay. Just drop a recall, honestly. This is fine. I mean, look, 70 CS to 120. So we're still doing good. You know, I'm not, I'm not getting the kills and stuff like I'm wanting. I'm making a couple mistakes, but you know, it's, it's totally fine. Okay. Leeching Leer we want. Let's get to lane as fast as we can. Again, we should be able to get back in time uh, to catch this wave. Yorick's 1v1ing without ultimate. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Yorick, you need, if you just press R, you kill him. I know you have ultimate up. My guy's smurfing, dude. Okay. I'm gonna duo with this cane next damn man. That's another thing actually is if you guys ever play with someone that's like uh like you can tell they're like they know what they're doing, they're like very they're very like good at the game, you should consider trying to duo with people because it makes your life a whole lot easier. If you're dueling with someone that's like very consistently good, make sure you check out their OP.ggs. Like sometimes people are like just have really lucky games but i mean i don't know kane seems like he's he's tower diving and silver up oh, okay never mind <laughs> never mind no damn he's gonna rift mid lane Oof. Oh man. York's hard shoving that top lane. I don't want to miss that farm. Now, if that was third dragon, I'd be there for that, but because it's only second, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, hell yeah. Some stuff is going down there. Okay. Ooh, Yorick. Give me that maiden. Come here, maiden. Give me a little beach. Okay. Ooh, teammates are killing it. Okay. In the meantime, might as well just take this Zach's camps, right? I can't take that tower. So, I mean, the next best thing is to do this while this guy's down. I'm being proactive. Oh, come on. Okay, thank God. I was about to say, please take it. Try and leave one of these wolves behind. Just because we're, you know, we're a nice guy. We're a nice guy. Um, I really want to group up here. I really would like to group up with my teammates. That damn Yorick is going to continue pushing like crazy all game long. So, I kind of have no choice. I have no choice but to sit here up top lane and, and hold this because he's going to be able to get a lot. Yorick is, will forever be a very great split pusher. So this is what we got to do, friends. Oh, here we go. 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 Is he sitting in this brush? He is. He is. He is. <gasps> what? Oh, I think he just sent the maiden to do his dirty work for him. Oh my god, really? No. Missed the cannon. 170 CS to 108. Quickly shove this out. We got 2k gold. We got to go back. Okay. Never, ever, 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 ever get like overextend and try fighting when you're over like a thousand gold or 1500 gold, you know? Because if you end up dying, oh, you're going to hate yourself. Okay, we got Rift Maker. Let's get ourselves a red trinket so we can start cheesing people. And let's head towards top lane. I'm going to make a request to my team. Hey, bot lane, can you guys group mid so we can five man mid, please? 
Vizier and I can shove side lanes then group. Dude, my freaking jungler is dominating. Okay, this is so good. I mean, at, th at this point, all I can really do is farm, man. I just want to group with my team and fight. This guy's kind of leaving me no choice but to stay up here. At this point, I'm just going to stay and just kill him. I'm just going to kill him, yeah. Let's just stay up here. Ooh, four and one. Oh God, we're going against the God. We're going against the God. Oh, what the hell is that? Yeah, if we don't group, we are so screwed. I guess I'm going to have to sacrifice some CS here. Help my team out. Ooh. so dead wow that was a little, that was so much crowd control i could not move that whole time wow but we, we're gonna clean this up though we're fine so that was my bad i tunnel visioned on the senna when i saw heimer was behind me i should have tunnel visioned on the jinx and just flashed in and killed jinx and then ran to my team that was a little bad i didn't i did not expect all that crowd control but like you guys already know senna cc it's just it's already broken in, in itself so that was my fault already broken in itself all right let's shove this and let's stop splitting we're in a situation where we like really really need to group with our teammates here Ooh, here we go okay perfect perfecto uh that should be a free dragon let's go help let's go secure it Okay, now remember remember to use your Q very, very, very wisely. Also, hey, Azir, I need you to hold this Yorick, please. Okay, make sure you take out the important. is still here oh why man one thing i will say is zach is so aids dude holy shit if you ever go against zach as timo oh my god dear lord i i would say right now my top two bands my top two bands this season are without a doubt wukong and um zach for sure Yeah, without a doubt, like, because you don't need any skill to play Zach, but he's so effective no matter how you play him is the thing. Like, you could play, like, the biggest idiot in the world. It doesn't matter. The champion is so broken right now. So heavily abused in Challenger, it is disgusting. I mean, like, see? He can make stupid, weird mistakes like that, and he's still fine because he's Zach, you know? All right, this is not a good idea to siege this. Not a good idea. We're gonna go siege mid lane instead. Hey, no way. The random team of stream kills are always a plus. Okay. So the reason why we don't want to sit there and waste time bot lane is because they have a Heimer and Heimer has such amazing wave clear and the potential to literally like 1v4. So I don't even want to risk it. I don't like risking my games ever if I can. I can afford uh, not to, you know. Okay, Zach is dead. We can do this. Watch out for the wall. Watch out for the thingy. Okay. Again, what I was saying earlier is try to preserve your Q as much as you can. Uh, try. I mean, I'm, Tina or Timo is very, very mana dependent. 
extremely mana dependent of a champion so the best thing that you can do for yourself is never use it to clear minions i mean unless you have to just don't don't do it too much as you can see welcome to zach yeah i mean see what i'm saying bro it's so annoying I almost want to go for a little cheese kill here. Okay. Okay, yeah. Randomly have that worded. What? All right, let's get out of here. We got 3K gold. Let's not troll. Okay, now we have to identify the problems. The, pro the, the problems are here. Zach and Heimerdinger damage. Those two can take me out in a millisecond. I'm not worried about anyone else. So we're going to get Cosmic Drive, and I might go a little bit, a little, a little cray cray. Um, I think I'm going to go Force of Nature. I kind of love the idea of just being super fast Teemo. I do more than enough damage to these guys. No one's building any MR whatsoever besides these two, but it's it's not enough to really even make like a difference. I'm going to take red buff on the way to dragon. And as you can see, we've stopped prioritizing farm. In the, in the lower ranks, you kind of can't prioritize farm because uh, people are fighting constantly. So if you're not there with your teammates, they're going to constantly throw the game and then it's going to be it's going to be your fault whether you like it or not. Okay. Again, Zach. Beautiful. Very simple. I trapped them in with shrooms too. Yeah, that's that's a wrap. That was a good game. And as you can see, climbing out of silver is is very 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 easy. But you gotta you gotta take that lead and group with your teams. And that's gonna be the theme pretty much this whole video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna teach you a little trick that um, my boy Manko taught me. So essentially, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna anytime you're going against Singe, you want to basically um, stop him from proxying by going invisible where he should proxy. He should proxy right here, I think, or is it back here? Oh God. I want to say he he told me to do it back here, but I, th I think it's right here. Okay, anyway, so for this one, I went Celerity Nimbus Cloak instead of, you know, Taste of Blood Ravenous Hunter. And it's very simple. All these people, I have to kite the bejesus out of these people. And if I don't kite them, I'm dead. Like if I get flinged, I'm dead. If I get stunned, ulted, Leona, any of that, if any of that touches me, I'm dead, right? So I would much prefer... Um, to not have like useless healing so this game i'm definitely gonna go oh here we go see 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 watch 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 ready okay now he should just go back to lane because he's screwed but i don't know what he's doing okay i can't really get him honestly All right, we tried our hardest, but there's there's not much I can do there. We don't want to miss minions here. We do not. You do not want to miss minions. You do not want to miss minions. <gasps> oh god, I almost missed that. Oh, oh! There we go. And look at that. See, we softened him up. I didn't get an assist, but I got a, a kill for my homie there. So that's nice. And now we slow push. Remember, silver players, my guys. Slow, 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 slow chill there's a, what's think about what's the rush right what's the rush we're, we're playing teemo man we're here to we're here to troll people we're here to be a global taunt but we're gonna make it that much harder for people to to mess with us if we're just chilling if we're vibing you know what i'm saying boys yeah yeah see me ah i don't miss minions let's go so now if he if he tries to come up come up in our our, uh, our zone we're gonna smack him in the face because he's still level one that my friends you have to do that against um singe players so that way you cuck them you cuck them hard very very hard essentially all you're doing is walking the wave in so he's not gonna proxy it and, and ruin your day 
and then you force him to never play uh proxy sims again to be honest this guy might be afk oh he's not okay It'd be funny if he was though now the only thing to worry about is singe flings really far so you pretty much like if you're gonna go under tower prepare for him to fling you it's one thing you really need to watch out for okay but i'm gonna be smart and i'm gonna uh, go back here there's no need for me to stay pre five minutes there is no need for me to stay pre five minutes oh ho, 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 ho. i am not helping him nope not worth it okay i say we get a pair of boots a dagger actually you know what hold on no why don't we just get double dagger and a control word let's just do this because i have i have celerity so i have more movement speed now without boots if i w so we're chilling all right now look so that situation right there a lot of you guys would have stayed and messed around but let me again wave management is the most important thing about top lane right so if, if that if we're going under that premise why the hell would we stick around when we can't even get a turret plate pre five minutes you know so just chill and now look 23 to 10. we're looking good we are looking damn good we're wearing we're wearing a suit and tie teemo right now okay i mean i know we're not wearing a skin but we're in a suit and tie right now we're looking good i'm just gonna keep chilling just keep last hitting if the wave is too much start to trim it a little bit and we're good trim off the edges all right i guess we're gonna have a slow push here i didn't even realize that is a-okay we trimmed a little too hard i mean look how slowly i last hit so so patient patience and i don't really know what this guy's doing but man the longer he's out of lane the uh oh he's he's mid lane okay now we hard shove push the uh the back minions or the back line first much easier to kill much faster just like this because those are tanking damage that whole time right so you just do this look at that okay and now what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna get a control ward down and i'm gonna go for one plate and then we're gonna try and cheese the singe when he comes up here there we go let's see what he does here okay he's gonna run around and that's why celerity is so good i'm able to actually kite him and look i'm level i'm about to hit level six so we can dive this guy now try not to let him get too healthy now remember when you're doing this you need to pay attention to where the jungler is obviously look at my vision i'm paying attention to like everyone on the map right now okay in between last hits make sure that you are looking at your map i don't see anyone right now pop a potion there we go so he's gonna fling me here it's fine not a big deal see nothing happens there nothing happens now he has no fling so him choosing to fling me was really bad and here's why he has 14 cs flinging me there doesn't do anything because i'm not autoing you you know what i'm saying oh my god that was a good one that was a good fling <laughs> that one was a good one all right let's get him okay we know his boyfriend's coming oh shit i think i might die here We're chilling. Okay. Why do you think I went Celerity and Nimbus Cloak, guys? So important. All right, let's hard shove this. He's going back. I don't want to. I don't want to be greedy and end up dying here. So I just want to go B. I'm not gonna go for this turn. Oh, actually, I, I have to. Never mind. It's so low. Damn it. If this was healthier, I would not have gone for this. Because Rumble could just be chilling up here right now, and if he is, we're dead. Oh. Okay, we're good. They got me. Yeah, they got me good. Well played, boys. Well played. Well played. You got me. Man, so like I said, that's something that you have to watch out for. So right there, right there, that's a very, very bad play by them. 
but it's something that's going to happen to you in silver and in gold and it's something it's hard to get used to because it's wrong like it's not a good play right like basically what rumble's doing is he's sacrificing him farming look at my jungler 52 cs to 35. he's basically sticking around here not farming not doing anything so that he can uh he can cheese kill me right but it doesn't really i mean sure you like deny me a wave i guess but like that's you don't get anything for that right and now you lose dragon because you're on the top side of the map messing around you see what i'm saying so even though it's a bad play you, you have to make sure that you're not going to let them get away with that uh continuously so we got to be careful here okay and again that's why we don't constantly like push and be up here because it exposes us for all that cheese still doing good though 69 to 21 i mean once i get some items rolling dude the game's over let's get a few items rolling and i also one thing i want to mention is i do see the korean guy build um zerker greaves from time to time but i find that sork shoes makes it makes me do so much more damage and i don't really need if i'm first iteming nashers i don't really need all that attack extra attack speed you know okay let's get some vision down here as you can see quite annoying lots of cheese coming my way lots of cheese coming my way but uh, i managed to take one out with me but again you got to watch out for this crap because they're just going to keep coming you know what i'm saying like they again they think that this is good and i promise you it's gonna bite them in the ass very soon because look at my farm guys 81 to 26 you can keep listen you can keep killing me you can keep coming top but remember i'm so far ahead of these guys in farm and levels and everything that once i get once i get that item it's over once i get that item it's over you know what's sad too i would have killed rumble if this wasn't right if this was dead center oh i would have killed him man oh he just flung he just flung he just flung I mean, look how, look how weak he is, right? Holy shit, my jungler again, dude. Same jungler from last game. Hell yeah. It's that cane. The cane pain train. All right, this guy had to recall. Okay. Those damn rumble ganks are getting me good, man. Singe is mid. Dig some turret plates. Oh, yep. And now he's putting himself even farther behind because he's he's getting he's getting desperate. So he's making the wrong decisions here. I'm gonna fast push this. Another shroom. I know I say save a lot of mana, but timing is is really important here. So I can make sure I get this. Ooh, good rift arrow play by them. Very good Rift Arrow play. I think they got that actually. Damn. Yeah, we can't stop them. Unless, unless, unless they got something for it. No way. They might save the tower. And there we go. And now he's so far behind. He is literally so far behind that there's like at this point in the game there's nothing he can do unless i afk he literally has 30 farm right and again it's because he's choosing to be extremely extremely greedy like the plays that they're making is constantly him and rumble actually are not farming and they're focused on hey let's kill teemo let's kill teemo let's kill teemo and again it's not going to change anything if you do kill teemo you know Okay, we know where Rumble is now. Best thing for me to do right now is recall. Second dragon. Um, I could keep terrorizing top lane, honestly. Now that I have Nashers, uh, I am disgustingly strong. Nashers. I'm going to go for a, um, a Night Harvester here, actually. So let's do this. Let's get two of these bad boys. I'm going to get a Red Trinket. I really love in lower elo. I love this play style of getting 
oracles because what I can do is I can push and then I can clear everything and I can sit in a brush and I know that they don't know where I'm at. And then one person walks by and I get a quick kill, auto, 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 Q, auto, they're dead, right? So I really love taking this at this point in the game. In higher elo, um, I still do it too. Like you'll see me do it in the platinum games. But it just depends on who, you know, what you're dealing with. Situational. Very good into assassins when you need to... You need to be the better assassin, you know? Okay. Maybe I can catch out this singed. I don't know where singed is. He's, not, he's bot. I'm too far away to help in this. Now, I know I say don't split push on Teemo because you really, really shouldn't. But it's so early on in the game. Their whole team is down there. My team is dominating. Like, I can do what I want at this moment. And really, the only reason I'm here is because I had to catch all that farm that Singed pushed into me. So, might as well make the, the best of it, you know? Go for this tower here. And again, the only time I ever go Night Harvester is if I'm this fed. I know I'm one and two, but look at my farm. Farm is way more important than, than your uh, KDA. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to full clear this jungle. And by full clear, I mean do this. Make sure you kite away. Kite away so you don't get in trouble. Okay. I think Rumble Dumbles may be up here. So we're going to push this wave in the meantime. I'm going to do this to actually see if he's here. Uh, there's a ward right there. You guys see how strong the uh, Nasher's Tooth is, though? This build is so dirty, man. I love this build. Oh, shit. I got to push this first. Okay. I am just farming like an absolute madman right now. I mean, in silver, I can, you know, in silver, you know, I can do this because they don't understand like, you know, no one understands how to hold lanes or wave management or anything, right? So you can take advantage of, of these kinds of things, but I don't recommend doing this. Like, and once you get to like, uh, probably high gold, you can't really do this anymore because your teammates are just going to constantly be getting shafted. But I mean, check this out. Look, look, three, four, five. I mean, it's just free. It's free in the Silo. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 close. Damn, that was close. That was close. I hear you. I hear you. All right. We have enough for Night Harvester now. Let's put this down here. And we're chilling. And they can jump on me if they want to. I'm kind of trying to bait. Ah, oh, man. It's gonna try and bait, but it's okay. All right, now we are about 200 G's away. I might actually just go for a little bit of a cheese kill here. I don't think I can. Oh, heck, him. <laughs> okay, this guy's done, though. <laughs> right, that's him. He's got that. Yay. Okay, we have enough. Now we group and end, but uh we're gonna yeah, we're gonna group and end here. Let's grab the night harvester and just run it down mid as five. So I'm gonna tell my team, yo guys, all mid. Okay, I got night harvester, wait for mana, and then I'm gonna meet them all mid lane. Cool thing is here we have a Janna to actually keep us alive here too, if they did if they decide to try and dive us. Or not dive us, but just like all in us. We're chilling. Okay. Remember, don't use any mana here. We have our teammates to clear the minion waves. We're chilling. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? That's a tanky SOB. Oh, that's a snipe. Oh! Come on. Come on. Okay. Did they surrender? Holy shit balls. Wow. 
and as you can see if you just group as five when you're this fed dude the game is over there's literally nothing they can do i mean i guess they, they can clear minions and stuff that's about it oh there's there you go Here we go. Wow, oh, what is moving? Holy shit. Jesus. So much crowd control, dude. Holy shit balls. Okay. It's funny that I'm one in two, but I'm like some one of the most fed people in the game. Isn't that so funny? All right, there you have it, boys. Sil Silver Elo, you guys, you guys got this. Very, very dependent on just watching videos just like this and copy pasting the techniques, the strategies, the little do's and don'ts. There, there's, there's lots of micro little things that you guys will learn just by watching this entire video that I do that you don't do when you play Teemo. So, try this shit out. You guys are gonna climb like crazy, and uh, good luck, boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gold elo. I've said this time and time again. This elo is very simple to climb out of. Just know you're going to get ganked so much, no matter where you are on the map, dude. This elo loves to just sit. This jungler will sit here. What the? F <laughs> okay, this elo will sit. This Zinzat will sit here for like two minutes just to kill you, right? They'll sacrifice the whole game just to get a kill. Remember that. So that all we have to do is just pay attention. So I'm starting Doran shield because um, into Camille you can't out trade her when she lands her W She just destroys you So I'm gonna just keep going for as many autos as I possibly can It's kind of obnoxious that he was able to get that but whatever that's pretty obnoxious. It lasts a long time. I was hoping it would fade away, but we didn't get very lucky. That's okay. Damn it. Okay. I don't know why this guy has smite. I guess that's really good for me though. Cause if he makes a mistake, he's it's over. Him not being able to TP back is going to really hurt him. Should we get a ward down? He's gonna go E level two right here. Yep. What? What are you doing? So you see what I'm saying? You see how cheesy they are, right? They, in their head, they think that's a good play, right? I'll tell you right now, that is not a good play whatsoever. I'm gonna wait for a health potion here. Look, look, look at this. Watch this, watch this play out. No matter what, dude, they will do anything to fight you. <coughs> but I wanna point something out. Check this out. She has six farm to my nine and look at, I didn't lose anything for that. I didn't lose anything because they're sitting there messing around. All the minions died to the tower. And now look at all the minions are gonna shove under me and there's nothing they can do about it now. You see what I'm saying? That is, this is what you take advantage of. So obviously now we know the, the pace of this game. This guy is willing to take a really bad jungle route to level two gank me with a blue buff. Man, I really wish I could have uh, survived that man. That would have been so good if I could have. Damn. That would have been incredible if I survived that, actually. But I stepped out of the brush by accident. Oh, this is going to be impossible to last hit this crap. Okay. 17 to 11 already. <laughs> what the hell is this game? The double smite. It's okay. No matter what, how this goes, I will end up winning the game. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna win simply just based off of I'm just gonna play macro way better than them. It sucks that Camille is, um, or it sucks that I don't have a Doran's ring 
If I had a Doran's Ring, I'd actually be able to do some damage early game, but I have zero AP, so I can't even fight the Camille in a huge wave because the shield is so massive, right? I have a feeling I'm going to get ganked again. Am I? Hopefully not. Okay, we're chilling. How does that not go off? I don't understand how my Q doesn't go off there. This guy's a pro. Oh, I need a jungler. Okay, yeah, the poison wasn't even on. You're fucking trolling, bro. Okay, we're good. Oh, I didn't even auto that. Okay. Can't push this fast enough. Yes, sir. Potential dive here. Very easy dive. Yeah, now Zinzel's not here, so this is huge if we can get this. This is a time where you want to try and trade one for one. If your jungler doesn't come dive this, just trade one for one. Make sure he tanks. How do you just get a shield? How did I not do damage to him right there? Isn't that weird? Oh, I guess that didn't work out. It's okay. Still worth it. Still worth it. Although he's level six now. He's going to stay. This is the only bad part about this elo is... Uh... There we go. Okay, he just trolled. No mana. I'm dead now. Ah. Very greedy players. And now check this out. Check this out. Now he could have hard shoved that and screwed me, but because he's a gold player, he doesn't know better. So this is what, what I'm trying to point out to you guys is, as long as you see these things they're doing wrong, you can climb out of gold instantly. Look, I, this is going to slow push into me and I'm not going to miss anything now. You see? And the, here's a good thing. Uh, the, the, the silver lining to you being ganked or camped is that the rest of your team has no pressure on them, which means they're less likely to feed in most cases, which is really, really, really nice. I actually, really, I actually prefer it when the jungler camps me because I know I can play, uh, I can play around it if I just adjust a little bit, like making sure I'm getting like control wards and stuff. Oh God. Okay. Let's chase this guy down. Yeah, he's just trolling. Okay, now I mean now I have actual like damage so I can kill him. Oh my god again, bro. Might as well just fight this guy. I mean Another thing you could take advantage of right there is like he's fighting me in my massive creep wave and I know he has no flash anymore. So now I can actually kite him out. And also, I mean, this Camille hat, because she took TP or not, no TP, no ignite. It's just, it's open season. And now I'm staring at mid lane. I'm staring. Where's the support? Where's that Senna at? Is Senna going to come gank me right now? Kind of, you kind of just have to expect this. And now in gold elo, make sure you recall really far back because these guys will, will sacrifice this farm to stop your recall. Also, this is a really bad time for me to be actually, but it's okay. So I honestly should have stayed. Uh, let's get a refill. I should have stayed because he can shove this out and I can, he can deny me six minions. So I should have stayed here, dropped a shroom down, fast cleared, and then recalled. All right, he pushed it too slow actually. So we got, we got kind of lucky there. We got very lucky. I should not have been able to get that. Wow, I didn't miss a single one. Okay, no idea where Camille is. If I see Camille mid lane, be hard shove. But in the meantime, I'm gonna slow push. I don't know where she is. 
No idea, but I can 1v1 her very easily because she has smite, so. It's pretty much a wrap on top lane at this point. It's a complete wrap. There we go. That's huge. That's that's huge damage. I just half health him, I think, maybe even less. And so as you can see, what I've been doing this whole time is I have been um What do I want to do here? I want to hide. Zinzout's probably up here. What I've been doing this whole game is slow pushing these massive waves. So if I if I do get ganked, I'm good to go. And these guys don't know where I'm at. Like I'm saying, I'm saying if I get ganked, I, I turn. I can try and actually 1v2 or 1v1, you know? So I'm going to sit here and hide because we don't know. We have no vision. Okay, there is Zinzao. Now, where is Zed? I don't see Zed. Okay, he's mid. We're good now. Oh, I should have freaking queued him. Okay, we're going to go for a tower dive now. Very easy tower dive. This is the beauty now. Now... Because I hid, they decided to all go down there. And now it's free low, baby. It's open season. It's open season on that ass. Try not to miss any farm if you can. Beautiful. Let's put a shroom here just in case he tries to fight me. He will get a shield. Remember, that's the one thing you gotta be careful about Camille. That shield that they get. Oh, I should have ignited. I'm stupid. I uh, didn't think he was going to walk into the shroom. Man, that's my bad. That's my bad. Okay, Zinzo's probably going to come up here. I got two places to run, though, with a shroom, which is nice. I do think the Zinzo could actually 1v1 me pretty easily if I don't play it correctly. Yeah, look, he's top again, as we predicted. I am level uh, 10, though, so he can't touch me. As you can see, there's not a universe he kills me. I took two. I look. I took more damage than I needed to there, but it's okay. All right, all right. Now we're getting a flow. This is good. We're getting a, a good flow here. Let's heal up to full HP. Hell yeah! All right, this is good. My teammates are all actually doing pretty well. Oh my god, we have a Pantheon 80 carry. What the hell? I'm just gonna go back here. I'm not gonna take the tower. I have no mana. No need for me to attempt this. Where's Camille? So I guess I should have taken this. Um, what happened? Uh oh, oh, his head's fed as hell. Oh, that's a kill. Unless, oh, good try, good try. Uh, I th think I have to help him. Totally forgot what I was going to say. Uh, fucking seriously. Okay. Okay. Got my Nasher's tooth build going. We are going to go Rift Maker. I think Camille may have gone AFK. If I had to guess. Okay, I'm just gonna hard shove this. If Zed wants to jump on me, he dies, which is very comforting. Uh, Camille's top lane. He has no ultimate, so I can I can kill him. I'm dead. Okay, I I messed that up so badly. I messed that up so badly. Oh, good try, good try, good try, good try, good try. Okay. And at this point, you can see what I'm doing is I'm taking my lead. I just ditched top lane completely. I don't even care if that uh, Camille was taking the tower, right? I just want to take my lead and shove it down their throats. And this is the only way you can do that. And that's by literally showing up and destroying everyone, right? Now, I will say this. I think if you're this fed and you're this confident, I think go Night Harvester. In fact, 
we could try we could try it out honestly but i already purchased leeching leer and now let's just let's stick with the build let's let's be smart let's stick with let's do what we're supposed to do let's go top lane okay so i think camille is just kind of trolling i don't think she, um she must be auto filled or something because i mean i don't think she meant to take smite and obviously she does she doesn't play camille so um no matter what i don't want to split i'm just trying to think of what my game plan is here i need to be here to protect these guys i also can't get caught out here so let's do this okay let's just take this i see zin's out mid lane so we hard shove Again, be very careful with your mana. Be very, very careful. When you don't have blue buff, try not to Q the minions. Try not to randomly W. Uh, you just, you want to make sure you have constant mana for fights. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, we're going to just run it down mid lane here. Okay. Mm, put this down here start going for this tower the, the nasher's tooth is just so damn good um at this point too i'll probably just go uh rabadons and then i'll go zonias to keep me alive uh, i actually think a going a lich bane would be really sick here too lich bane is really disgusting when you're this fed it all depends like i think zed could still one shot me very easily I think Camille could trap me and put me in a really bad spot as well. Dude, this Kiana's a freaking beast too. You gotta love it when you get the really good players on your team. Like you just coin flip so perfectly. I love that. I'll take it okay now we move on holding on to my shrooms a little bit place them in certain spots if i think that they could potentially come behind me but look look at how aggressive i'm being i am being so unbelievably aggressive now if you you if you're a gold player watching this right now chances are oh here we go chances are you, you are not doing what i'm doing ever you are still top lane you're still split pushing you're not getting anything done whatsoever Hey, I, anytime I'm sieging, I always love to put a shroom like back here just in case they decide to all jump on us. It's a good way of uh, disengaging. Okay. Honestly, we should just keep sending it because look, Camille and Zed are not going to stop us. We just keep, keep sending it. There's nothing that they can do, right? Ooh, good try. Ow. I mean, there's literally nothing they can do, right? You say, like, what the hell are they going to do, you know? There's literally nothing they can do. Okay, teammates decided to group. Good. Very good. Um, I think I would probably, at this point, I would probably go for a Rabadon's death cap instead of Azonia's because I'm 7-2. and two. It's actually quite difficult for them to kill me. Yeah, I mean, dude, just, there's power in numbers, man, especially when you're fed. But it also helps that my team just like hard smurf this game. All right, nice. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, fellas, gold game numero dos. Time to smack this Garen in the face. Should be a pretty easy one. Garen's a little annoying because of his uh his passive. But as long as you just make sure uh you don't get too close to him ever, you're fine. Now I'll just run him down. Obviously, that wasn't worth it for him. So literally anytime he walks up, all you gotta do is drop an auto on him and they just run away. I'll, I'll probably just kill him level two. Here's the thing: whenever he runs at you, just queue him. There's nothing he can do to you. It's kind of a very free, 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 free lane. 
Oh damn, okay. Pushed a little too quickly here. Damn, it's because he wasn't even attacking the minions. Oh man, oh that's so bad. Oh crap. I hate when the minion, one minion just follows you like this. It's so cringe. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and get over here. Okay, just keep doing this. Let's be on standby. We're gonna get ganked any second now, so I'm ready to just haul ass away. As long as you let your jungler know, you should be fine. Should have queued him. I don't want to keep pushing this guy under tower at all. I just want to make it so he can't farm. 17 to 11, we're doing pretty decent. I should have denied him that cannon. Surprised I'm not getting ganked. That kind of made it seem like I was about to get ganked. He just ran full speed at me. <sighs> gotta punish him more. I gotta get these three auto Q in. How am I not getting it? All right, Rumble's bot now, so this guy's screwed. Let's stand farther up. Don't need to. Don't need to be scared of this guy. Okay, beautiful. Come on. One more auto ignite. He was dead. Did he really go teleport? Oh, okay. Nice. Let's go team. He's going to TP to a minion here. Oh my God. Wait, what? All right, that's fine. He didn't TP the minion. I'll take that. Pretty good. Let's see what he gets. Okay. Uh, I say we just go recurve bow. Um, potentially. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <sighs> I have to let this crash. I uh, missed that one. I think I can get all these. Yeah, we're good. Okay, I have a CS lead on this guy, but I, I need to get a kill. The problem is if this guy hits level six, then he becomes very dangerous. Okay, set support. All right, now the second I see this guy, we need to like actually commit to fighting this kid. Remember, do not push, do not push. It's the worst thing that you could possibly do because we're able to actually get a chance of this pushing into me here. If we just super slowly last it. Okay, we don't miss cannons. We don't miss cannons. Yes, sir. Okay, I gotta get this guy's face. I mean, at the very least, we can get a big CS lead on this guy. Oh, shit. I'm definitely dead here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you got me no matter what here. All right, well played. They got me. Should have got him. I just don't have the damage, sadly. Man, I cannot believe I fucking died there. Ugh. The second he got six, I told you, that's when you have to be really careful. Uh, so I think I played that wrong. I think I actually could have killed both of them. If uh, I did, I did good by queuing the Garen in the middle of the fight, but I needed to keep autoing Garen instead of running away like that. I should have just kept auto, 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 because if I would have had like three more autos on him, I actually would have been able to turn and kill him. Because the thing is, the whole time I'm sitting there doing that, he's getting smurfed on. All right. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Dude, please someone so this is the only bad part about going going against garen if no one tower dives him he's not dying like ever
Please God, someone freaking dive this guy. Just dive him. It's so annoying, please. I want him to die. I'm fucking dead. All right, I guess I don't think we're ever going to get some help here. Oh, so sad. So sad. Damn it. Oh. Okay. Damn it. This is not going well. So the bad part about playing against uh the bad part about playing against Garen is it's it's near impossible to to kill him because of this. So, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> He's got double buffs now. If I die, I'm literally going to quit the game. All right. Well, this is not a good start to our game. Is the bad part about going against Garen, dude, is like he gets to be, he gets to do that. And when you play Teemo, there's nothing you can do about it. There is almost nothing you can do about it. Trying to tower dive a Garen as Teemo is just, it's just not, it's like trying to solo Baron. It's just not going to happen, right? So he's getting unbelievably lucky, but his luck's going to run out eventually after I get some items going. So we have Sork Shoes now, a little bit of a power spike. All right. Uh, Rumble's definitely up here. I'm going to back off I think yeah again he's just gonna sit here under tower all game long okay just poke him out kill this guy i think i have to let him be i don't remember what his hp was <clears throat> i mean he's gone obviously he's got me yeah we'll play i should okay damn it mm. nice all right we got him man this garen is so goddamn tanky he is so stanky and tanky It's all right. Tower's almost gone. <clears throat> all right. He's mid. Man, I knew I should have just stayed in the brush. I, did, I I'm pretty sure he, I don't know why he didn't recall. Um, but you know, I guess kudos to him. The decision-making of this Garen is just, it's going to cost him. So essentially what you guys see him doing is I noticed that you guys, you guys all see he's four and two on one and three. And in your guys' head, you're like, oh, well he's out playing you or he's playing better than you or whatever you guys think are thinking, right? But I want you to know his decision making is not going to last forever. He will get screwed over. He will get screwed over. All right, let's stop pushing him under tower now. Just keep chilling. We don't want to push him under tower anymore. <sighs> He's uh, to be honest with you, he is extremely, extremely lucky that this is this is going like this. He's been like, he's been uh, one shotable under tower for like the entire duration of this game. So the fact that I have not been able to kill him yet is remarkable. It's actually insane. Uh, I don't think he has flash yet. Okay, their whole team's down there. It's just Garen. Garen can easily kill me. I just gotta make sure I kite this way. Okay. Okay. I got leeching leer by the way I didn't get my Q off there we go that's huge damage we saw rumble down there so I can keep poking this guy under tower he should not have flash to be able to jump on me and if he does I'll just put a shroom down here make sure we're nice and healthy more 
He does have flash. Okay. I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad by that. It's okay. He has no TP though, so I get tower here at the very least. But as I said, his greediness is not going to pay off. It's really not. As you can see here. Now, I'm going to have to shove this wave out. I'm probably going to die for this, but I want to deny him as much as I can. Maybe I get out. Ah, I wasn't able to deny him, but got a lot of farm there. 132 to 96. So we're doing pretty good. All right. So now the best thing I can do here is to not go toppling. It's to rotate mid closer to all this action here. Oh, God, this is bad. Oh, Garen's about to. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Let's go, team. Uh, I think we're fine. All right. In the meantime, I'm just going to push this out. And this is why we rotated mid just in case if I could actually help out. Beautiful. Wow. All right. Wow. My guy's 4-0. Let's go. The Silas was flaming us in, uh, in champ select. <laughs> okay. We're good now. To be honest with you, I think I'm, I might skip. No, I'm not. I was going to say, I, I might just get Zonia's all out, but I don't need it. I do need a stopwatch though, because the the thing that really sucks about garen is if he gets on top of you you're dead no matter what because even if he like you blind his q it doesn't matter his ultimate alone is gonna kill you like it's it's so gross okay let's push this out actually i guess we can just slow push this Nothing to do. Nothing to do here. Besides farm up for um, Rift Stanker. Rift Stanker is going to be really, really good for us. We're going to have great healing, great true damage. We've got lots of things to do here. Let's see how this plays out. He's got Stride Breaker, so we got to really respect the, the distance he can cover. If anything, I think I might just go do uh, Rift because he's going to hard push that. Got my Zin's out coming. If anything, I'll just do this. Yeah, here we go. This is free. I like to stream around just to make sure I'm safe. And I can make a really good play with this. We'll go catch our wave top lane and we'll run it down mid lane. Beautiful. Nice. Ooh, he's in that was going around. Okay, this uh there's a ward there. Nah, he's gone. Damn it. Uh, almost. Oh shit. Close. I can take this. Rumble's on the bottom side of the map. <clears throat> Garen has to recall here. Go for a play on Garen potentially. Ooh. Oh, I should have killed him. Ah. Oh. Should have killed him, but there's no need for me to be greedy. Look at that, boys. Got a lot done right there. I think I might be able to cheese unless the, that saw me. Okay. I can't get him. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm only split push because no one's grouped. No one's trying to group right now. Okay. Okay. Um... I could kill this guy pretty easily. Let me see if he walks over here. What? 
How does that even make sense? Damn, I guess that's weird. I guess we shouldn't assume there's no wards, but right here, this being warded is the most random pointless ward. So some guy just like randomly decided to ward that. That doesn't make any sense. All right, 30 seconds until dragon. I need to hard shove this wave. You know what's nice though? Even though I'm one in four, I'm more fed than everyone. I'm literally more fed than fucking everyone in the game right now because I farmed better. That's the nice part about like being able to farm really well. I'm more fed than everyone in the game by far. By far. Oh yeah. I mean, I have two full items. I'm the only, oh, him and I, I guess. Well, he has eight kills. Jesus. Not bad, huh, fellas? Oh my God. Are we really going to get solar right now? Dude, the balls on this one. Oh man. Bro, can I move? Where'd he go? Oh. Okay, nice. There we go. Now I'll shove this. Take dragon. He doesn't need my help. So we're gonna shove this into tower. And then I'll take uh, these golems too and just keep my farm really high. 205 to 144, as I said, look. And I'll look, look at my level. I'm level 14 going on 15. So we're going to have a two level advantage over a guy that was once four kills ahead of me. Right? You see how crazy that is? That's why like knowing how to play this game correctly is, is more important than any cheese, any weird ganks. It does, that's why gold players don't climb it's because they don't understand that like that's not how you that's not how the game is played correctly at least you know so i'll still be fine i'm chilling i kind of want to go for a cheese kill oh my god all right bad timing let's get out i wanted to go for a little bit of a cheese but let's just push this out instead i'm completely oom um here We've been shrooming up a, a storm. Uh, one more wave. I see their whole team is up top, so we're safe. I don't want to split push here. I want to go back. I want to grab my Zonias. Keep me nice and safe. But then again, I could move on to a different item, which would be cool. It's a pretty decent amount of healing, actually. I might go. Um, I'm actually going to go uh, Morella and Amakon first because we have stopwatch. Oh, my God. Is my team burning? What the hell? The balls. Wow. This is a crazy Baron call. Wow. Oh, my Lord. Time to pick up some kills, boys. Yikes. Jesus. And so you're probably wondering why Morello. And I see, I, okay, well, Immortal Shield Bow plus the healing of her. They, they actually have a pretty decent amount of healing on their team, so I wanted to stop it. And then we're going to get Zonia's after. All right, fellas, Platinum, here we come. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this elo is actually way easier than like gold to climb out of like plat four to like plat one. I think it's actually really, really easy. And the reason is, is um, I don't really know why, but like people just, man, they just, they just throw like every single game that they play in this elo. And it's, it's very wild to see. Oh, can I really not get that? Damn. Okay. But yeah, they throw a lot. So, I mean, just don't, don't, honestly, just don't tilt, play your game and go oh, nice. It'll be good to go. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to drop a ward here just for Warwick in case he comes. Kind of need to be ready to smack this guy. He's doing a good job of using that brush. I can't really get in his face without W. 
He's also gonna hit. I think he already is too, actually. Yeah, he is. We gotta be respectful. So that's what I'm saying. We walk up for the fake. There we go. Damn. He is just not letting me do much to him. Okay. All right. Great dive opportunity. Well played. All right. I, I fucked that up big time. I fucked that up big time. Fight, fight, fight. All right. Well, so what happened there is I uh, flashed in to a full health Warwick to try and kill the, the Aatrox, but Aatrox just outplayed the hell out of me. So he got me. He got me nice and good. He got me nice and good. Could have played that infinitely better, but I kind of just tunnel visioned and then, you know, yeah, just didn't play it well. It's okay though. They ended up getting two kills there. It happens. It's part of the game, fellas. Now in this situation, I definitely don't want to fight. What we really want in this situation? Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh God, was not watching. I was not paying attention right there. This is a very, very, very difficult matchup actually because uh, your auto attack range is right in his Q, which really sucks. I have no choice but to let him shove. Okay. I'm gonna miss a lot of these. Shit. Okay. Um, honestly, I think my best bet is to hard shove this. God. All right, he got me. Nice cheese. Nice. Uh, that was nice. That was a nice TP. That was nice cheese. Okay. Um, we're gonna need boots and a cloth armor because we're inting now. And then I will go for a potion and we'll do what we can do here. Okay, the good news is uh, we're actually gonna be able to get almost, yeah, we're gonna get all the XP for this. Hell yeah. I might actually be able to even get all this too. So it's not bad at all. So we have to rush plated steel caps because we're, we're getting destroyed. We need armor quickly. Quick, 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 quick. Nice. Three are mid lane. I'm gonna just do this and I'm gonna start slow pushing. Because uh, now that I see what this guy is capable of, obviously I know I need to like respect him way more. And let's just try and get as much CS as we can. In this situation, I probably, I don't know. I don't know if I'll rush Nasher's Tooth first still. But this is okay though. We had a pretty, we had probably the worst start we could ever have, I think. So, you know, it is what it is. All we gotta do is just play the game correctly and we're fine. There we go. I mean, so that would have gone better if I could have weaved in a couple more autos there. Um, damn, I really wish my Ramus would have uh, come up a little bit sooner there. Damn, it's okay. Mm. I mean, all I can really do at this point is just last hit. There's nothing else for me to do. We cannot fight this guy. I'm dead. Jesus. As you can see, not much for me to do here. Need some help top Ramus. Uh, kind of can't recall here. He's got no ultimate, so he can't dive me. So I think what I want to do is just prepare to be dove. They could dive me so easily. All right, they just played infinitely better than me. I might be able to get um, something out of this, maybe. Uh, nah, Ramus is too weak of a jungler. Damn, boys, we are getting absolutely smurfed on right now. I am getting hard, hard cuckoo renoed. 
Damn. We're going to need to get tanky shit. Riftmaker first. I'm going to get um the beginning of Nasher's Tooth, and I think I'll just go Riftmaker just so I can be super tanky. I think that's all I can do. Hmm. Let's go for like a little bit of vision or something. Try and be useful. We'll be fine later. We'll be fine later. We got three and O cast. We're good. We are chilling, boys. Now the beauty of this is I'm gonna let this guy keep pushing me under tower and I'll just keep soaking up farm. Notice how it's 60 CS to 60 CS. Like, yes, he has the level lead and yes, he has the gold advantage, but one one play guys this is what i'm trying to teach you about platinum one play and i'm back in the game and i will i will win this game i promise you i promise you i'm winning this game also that was such a bad shroom that i placed that was so bad sheesh cancel an auto there please run over here run over here Nice, we got a dragon. Okay, cool. Okay, he's clearing my Mustang. That's fine. He could be trying to cheese. We see Warwick. Oh man, he's dead. I think Aatrox is probably roaming the dome. Yeah, he is. Hard shove this. Something to take advantage of always is when they roam like this. This is a free recall for me. Because now watch, this is going to crash. And uh, no matter what, I'll be able to get back in time. So let's get the recurve bow here. And then we're going to go for a ruby crystal. And let's just run back to lane as fast as we can. So look, even if he hard shoves us, I should be able to make it in time. Okay. So we're missing one minion. We're missing... Only missed one minion of XP. Okay, they could go for a tower dive top lane. I'm so mad at myself for that shroom placement. Oh, that was so bad. Okay. let's start let's start getting this guy nice and low let's start clearing because we know we're gonna he's gonna potentially dive us up here with rift okay he's not never mind okay i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna freeze actually no i'm not i don't want to freeze okay nice Got to watch out for Aatrox here. I don't really know why I'm even showing up to this. Oof. Man, there's no reason for me to keep going on that one. That was weird. That was weird. Ah, okay. Well, that sucks. Just missed the whole wave for that. God damn it. Should have turned around. All right. So he's definitely not playing this correctly. Like, dude, I should not have 88 farm right now. I should literally have like 40 of shit. Bruh. Why are you even here? probably dead wow <laughs> if we both live if we both live i'm laughing my ass off right now ah uh, you can't you can't escape a warwick also am i gonna die dude this freaking duo just hates me oh crap no way that's so much oh that's bullshit Dude, that Cassidy could just blow my ass up. This is a very scary, scary game. Okay. Just shove this out as fast as I can. 
All right, let's just try and show up and just be useful at this point, man. The Ramus pick into their team was really awful. Ramus is not a good pick into their team in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Again, nothing for me to do here. Don't know where Kasten is. We're in a pretty dangerous situation. I don't think Kasten or Cassiope should be up there. I'll just do this. Just take this. Sheesh. A little bit better. I don't know where. See, I don't know where these guys are, so I can't really walk up. There's War Bricks. There's Cassidy. Okay. Okay. Getting a little bit of farm. Uh, looks like Ramus is not going to be able to farm this. So I'm going to just take this in the meantime. Just need a couple items and I'm back in it, dude. Couple items. All right, let's just go B. All right, let's put a safety ward down here. Hopefully this castle just keeps hard shoving into me. I can just keep free farming. This is this is well, this is what you want right here. Oh, look at all that juicy gold. Oh my god, I missed the cannon. Oh god, I deserve to lose this game, bro. I deserve to lose. All right, now in this at this point in the game, the last thing you want to do is just pick random ass fights. That's what you don't want, okay? All you want to do is do this. Do what I'm doing. Get vision down quick in your jungle so that no one's getting caught out. Sit here and then show up to these random ass fights. Like I'm going to haul my ass up here and make Okay, what? There is no chance you win that, homie. There is three people. Dude, these guys love like penta ganking. Jesus. These guys just love just two man, three man. Jesus. Whole lot of ganking. Bot lane should be mid cast and I should shove and group as five. I kind of want this to shove into me. I don't want to go up here because Cassidy can just one shot me, honestly. I'm just going to let this push into me. They're going to take this and probably run it down mid. Can y'all go mid, please? <sighs> All right. Let's keep letting this push. Depends on where this guy goes. All right. I am terrified right now of this casting and showing up. So I can't, I can't really push or anything here. All I can do is try and get like vision down to save us from getting ganked constantly. Take these. Okay. Lots of gold I need, man. Lots of gold. The the cool news is like, check it out. It's 20 minutes in the game and the enemy team has literally done nothing. The whole game, they have done nothing. All they've done is ganked and I guess they've taken two towers. That's it. That's all they've done. They haven't done jack shit. And that's why you shouldn't ever like give up when you're playing in the silo because they don't know how to close out games. So they're just constantly giving me time to get back in. And if I get back into this game, I'm going to shit on their whole team. I promise you. Definitely gonna need a uh, Morello this game for, for that healing. Okay, let's go shove this out. They're four manning bot for some reason. We're gonna shove out one wave and recall. You don't wanna split push. Split push being I'm going for like, I'm trying to like compete for towers or like race, you know? Nice. Okay. Uh, almost have enough. I think I'm gonna sell my Doran's ring for this. Okay. What the, did he just flash? Yes. Let's go. Let's get blue trinket too. Get some more permanent vision down. Ah, oh, let's go. Shut down. See, look, Hey, there's throw number one. 
there's throw number one that's beautiful look at that boys there's throw number two okay 30 seconds until dragon let's let's get all this farm i told you these guys are gonna throw i'm telling you guys if you keep your composure this game is all about composure bro i'm gonna shove this out Kassadin is doing pretty good. Two seconds. Take this. Oh, God. Guess we lose inhib here. Oh, a hey, nice play by them. Oh, my God. They are just... <laughs> this is so funny. All right. Get some more HP. And hit for dragon. I'll take it. Annoying, but I'll take it because that doesn't really accomplish anything besides giving us more gold. Doesn't really do much for them. Because the, here's the thing. If they go and they take Baron with it, then that's huge. But I have a feeling they're not going to do that. I have a feeling. Oh, shit. Okay, they're fed. Hard shove this. Go try and get some vision down on that Baron. Hmm. Cassidy could be here. Just really want to get some vision down here. Just make sure we have something there, you know? Okay, now I don't really want to be up here, to be honest with you. All right, I think I'm going to grab Oblivion Orb just to, just to cut their healing down as much as I can. Can I kill this guy? No, not at all. I definitely want to get Oblivion Orb. Um, Let's get another Control Orb. I'm going to keep shoving out top lane. All right, now let's just not get caught. We have two dragons. Honestly, if we can get another dragon, we are completely back in this game. Preferably, I'd like to sit here and just freeze this. You want to freeze this because there's nothing to do on the map, but I see the enemy team trying to make weird plays right now. Like trying to cheese, and if I'm not there with my team, could be bad. So maybe I just hard shove this. Yeah, see. Okay. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to make weird ass plays constantly. Cass should be side lane, not support. Please come group. <sighs> Team shouldn't be fighting. Why would you fight that? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's Baron now. No way. <laughs> that's crazy. So, surprisingly, the enemy team is not taking Baron. I don't understand why. Okay. Okay, Cass, I'll hold, but I don't know why this Cassiopeia refuses to hold her lane, but better me than the support, I guess. Because all you need to do is just be here to soak this. You don't need to fight or anything. You literally just need to chill. 50 seconds on dragon. Probably just slow push this. I'm ahead in farm now. Which is weird because Aatrox has been sidelined the whole game. Ah, 
I'm down to trade Baron for Dragon if we can. Let's see. Let's see if there's anyone here cheesing. This is huge for us. This is huge. They're throwing so hard. And there you have it. Whew. As you can see, their decision making is constantly losing them the game. Okay. Oh, forgot to get uh, Nasher's Tooth first. Now we can work on Morello with the control ward. Uh, probably no chance they kill him, but you know, whatever. Now we're back in it, boys. Now we are back in it. There's no chance they kill. Mm, can't Baron. But maybe they get some shutdown gold here. That's 600 gold if they get it. That 600 gold shutdown they just got. Wow. Wow. That's huge. That is absolutely incredible for us. Now, the only reason we can actually do this is because we have Cassiopeia. If we did not have Cassiopeia, we could not do this. Okay, we're chilling. Yeah, they're just enemy team is fucking trolls, dude. You, you see what I'm saying though? Like they are just constantly throwing. Constantly, dude. Holy balls. I'm gonna head top and take this tower. They're just troll, 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 trolling. I mean, I know they're not they're not really like doing it intentionally because they think it's the right move what they're doing, but I'm I'm telling you right now, man. This is how low plat goes and this is why i like this elo because do you guys notice how i went 0 and 3 and i you know i played horribly i got caught out a bunch it doesn't it doesn't matter because i know how to get back into the game and they don't or even yeah you know, i know how to get back in the game and they just they're just gonna throw oh fuck. no 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 Look at this greed. Like, look at this. How is this a good idea? How is this a good idea? How? How is that a good idea? That's what I'm saying. Like, does he really think going all this way and, and getting a kill on me is anything? I mean, I know I have shutdown goal, but like, it's, it's not worth it. Okay, now let's look. Magic resist, magic resist. So we're going to go for a void staff now. Um, Man, I can't afford this. Damn. All right, we'll just go blasting wand. And honestly, another control ward. And now let's stay with our team. Five man mid, go, go, go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And now look at my farm, 229 to 184, right? And they put me pretty far behind, but because they're platinum, they don't know how to actually put people behind. I'm not trying to flame these guys. I'm just trying to point out the facts, you know? Okay. There's nothing for us to take right now. I'm gonna head to top lane. Let's just get a quick shove, Aruski. Quick shove, quick shove. Recall fast in the brush, get to bot lane. Just stay, we wanna stay with our teammates here. Okay. Stay with your teammates constantly. This is for Dragon Soul. Now, when you have Baron, the best thing you can do is to get hard shoving lanes with your teammates, okay? Everything else doesn't matter when you have Baron. Other than the fact that we could potentially get a soul right now. That's really the only thing. Okay. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shroom up this objective. Look, that, that guy's right there. All the entrances. Back of the pit. I'm gonna get a little bit of mana here. We have Cassiopeia. There's no way they take this. There's not a universe that Warwick does anything here. And now the game's over. Now we all push as five. You stay together. Group, 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 group. Do not be alone. Do not split push. Ever, 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 ever. And we should be able to get in him right now. Okay. And now look, Ramus is a super tank now. We're all super tanks at this point. Make sure I don't frontline. I don't know what this Morgana is doing. I'm going to put a, uh, a shroom on top of us just in case they try and engage. They will. Make sure you watch your mana. Look at mid lane. Jesus. And that's the game. Just like that, boys. Now we just go to mid lane. Do not chase. Just like that. Look at that. And that, my friends, is why you should never, ever give up. We had, we literally had, I think, the worst start you could possibly have on Teemo. And we ended five and three with 250 farm and he has 192. So I'll take it. Not, you don't need to be the guy that hard carries every game. You really don't. All right, fellas, I'm, I'm going to level with you. This elo is very hard. It's very hard to climb out of platinum. It's, it's one of my kryptonites for sure. And especially playing someone like Teemo. Um, here's the, here's my best f advice I can give you. You're going to have constant games where your teammates just shit the bed and they just suck, 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 suck. Right. And they're, they're like, Oh, five. I just had a set last game that was like, Oh, and six and was building uh prowler's claw instead of just going full tank. Right. You're just constantly going to have those games. And the only thing you can do to help yourself, it's very simple. You need to take your lead and, sh and violently shove it down the enemy team's throats. And if you are not able to consistently do that, you're relying on your teammates to carry you, which obviously is not going to happen like ever in this elo. So that's what we're going to make. We're going to make a point of doing this game is taking Rift Herald, ending mid lane, ending bot lane, like literally anything that I can do. That's what we want to do. God damn it. It's so annoying. Is that trading the hell out of me with that? Um, he has no flash, but I have to use my potion here because that thing hurts too much. Okay, cool. All right, now how to beat Camille? But while she's in midair, that's when you need to uh, cue her in midair before she hits you. Stay away from the wall as well. If you're too close to the wall, you're dead. Here we go. That's a good trade. Oh, I almost missed that. No, dude, her W is so broken. Holy shit. My health is gone. Her W is a nightmare. She must be maxing it. Oh, she is because she's going. Thank God that didn't hit. I'm going to say that's bullshit if that hits. This is annoying. How is that hitting me, bro? Oh, I would have killed her right there too if a, a boyfriend didn't come up. I'm one shotable right now, sadly. Why the further away from the wall you are, the easier this is. Very hard lane. We're in a really bad spot. We are in a terrible spot. Oh my gosh. I think I need to get up. Uh... 
Please die. Okay. Good. Spacing. Spacing beats all. Okay, I have to go back. She's just gonna TP. Maybe even kill me under tower. Um, is she gonna TP? Um, I shouldn't have. Oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, I'm kind of down for the recurve bow, refill, control. Let's get back to lane quick. Beautiful that he he TP'd there and pushed it because, so it was actually slow pushing into him, and this is one of the reasons why this guy's stuck in platinum is he doesn't understand wave management, right? Wave management is so important. He should have not TP'd and walked back to lane, and he could have frozen it right here and taken advantage of the fact that I have no TP. But now he gives me all this farm for free, and I literally only missed one CS. Look at that. How crazy is that? So imagine if he knew that. Imagine how screwed I'd be right there. Also, you guys didn't see on you guys didn't see because uh, I didn't record it, but this Camille was cheesing the hell out of me level one. So I'm glad I killed her there because she can go frick herself. Top, no ignite or TP. Try and bait her to jump on me, maybe. I'm pretty sure you lose that. Okay. That was good. That's all I needed. Volley bear is bot. He's going to counter jungle. I'm going to slow push. Oh, I can't actually. Shit. I'm watching right now. Hopefully he doesn't. Uh... Nice. This is what we want. This is so perfect. Oh my God. So look, this is what you take advantage of. I'm, I'm not going to help Lee because this is more important, honestly. This is way more important. And now we're going to take a plate here. Dude, that's so good. Two, three. Let's get out of here. Beautiful. What the hell is going on? Oh, he wasn't able to get a kill. Uh, okay. All right. Now we're in a situation where my teammates are shit in the bed pretty hard here. Damn, pretty violently hard. You put a shroom here. We do not want to get ulted. If this guy ults us, he can easily kill us. Okay, so if we were against a Jax or like a Riven or Irelia, I would go plated steel caps here, right? Because this guy's three and oh, they, they can easily one shot me. But because she does so much true damage, to be honest with you, I think it's kind of a bad idea for me to uh, do that. I could get Sork shoes. Beautiful. Okay. Not much we can do there. Lucian, focus. Bot side. I got top on lock. Good job, team. Okay. That's what we need. Um, I probably would just push this. I don't know where Camille is. She took a lot of damage, though. Make sure you don't use your Q to push unless you know no one's there. Because she could pop out of the brush right now. There you see, she just did. That was a bad shroom. Okay, this would be great for us to take. I'm gonna put this here. Okay. We absolutely want to take this. Try and save my mana here. Try and save my shrooms just in case we get in trouble. It's okay to pre shroom objectives before you do them, but like when we only have one shroom, you want to make sure you're actually going to get use out of that. I see a lot of Teemos using their shrooms constantly way too much, and it ends up actually hurting the hell out of them. So he just has Sheen. He doesn't really have much. Okay, we don't know where Volley is, but we have good vision. Mm. 
<laughs> that was bad. Okay, it's gonna shove into me now. Could get Sork Shoes actually, and then this I basically do true damage to this guy. All right, it's gonna slow. I'm just gonna back. There's nothing for me to do. I have no vision. I'm gonna get Sork Shoes. That 18 magic pen, he's only gonna have 20 magic resist after this. So let's get a control ward, make sure we're nice and safe. Um, I think the best thing you can do in this situation is instead of just sitting here, it's so easy for Camille to E and then ult me and I'm trapped here. And even if I see Volibear coming, I'm still dead, right? So I'd rather just not even be on the map. This guy's so freaking scared of me. Didn't use my ignite, no need to. And now we take this. Okay. Now we fast clear with Q. Hard shove. Could get TP'd on from behind. If anything, I'll just do that. I always like to ward over the wall as well. There we go. Someone just took, I think Volley Bear's up top or someone's up top. It looks like it at least. Okay. Beautiful. Now Camille will be here, so I'm not going to escort this. I don't want to risk dying. And then let's sell this and we're just going to wait for a couple gold for Nasher's Tooth. All right, I'm going to go cover bot. Now this is what I'm talking about. Bringing your 2-0 lead down here. This is what I'm talking about. Oh God. Dude, what? Their whole fucking team is here. Might as well fucking take one out. Their whole team is here. Okay. TP, I forgot about TP. We went to ham. All right. That's a good example of what not to do. I, I forgot about her TP. D it didn't matter if Volley Bear was there. We were fine. I just totally spaced on this guy's TP. If they didn't have TP, we were fine. That's my bad. So you gotta, you gotta be, you have to be mindful of that shit. Otherwise you just throw the game right there, right? I just gave shutdown gold for no reason. Stupid. 150 gold to karma for no reason. Luckily it went to karma and no one else, but that those, those plays will, are, it's just greed. Like, why am I even going for those kills? I don't need those kills, you know? Mm, but that, with that ignite, should I try and fight this guy? I don't think so. Dude, my screen keeps going black. Oh my God. Such bad timing. Two minutes. God, I am just not paying attention to shit. Okay. I'm not paying attention. All right, I want to point out another thing. So obviously I should have been paying attention, but, but why does my, do my monitor stop going black? What the hell? I think I just need a new display port cable. Anyway, so I want to point out something. So they decided to kill me and they didn't even take the tower. See how they're running around just getting kills all game and they're not, they're not actually attempting to win the game. This is the problem with platinum this is 100 i mean it's the problem with lower elos as well but specifically platinum they don't understand how to close out games it, like at all and it's really it's really weird but that's how everyone in this elo plays so really the, the counter to this is to know that that's how they're going to play and all you have to do is just group and not get caught out consistently now we're grouped I shouldn't have done that. Unless I can run it into the shroom. Okay, nice. We're doing pretty good now. Kaisa's catching up. 29 seconds. What? Who wants to surrender? What? This is a very important dragon incredibly important oh 
Oh, fucking I ignited him. Oh, I thought we were going to keep fighting. Now I'm out of mana. Completely oom. Um. This is really bad. Yeah, see? That's why this is important to not do. And we just threw. Yeah, see, two can, pl two can play at that game. Two can cheese. Okay, Camille is top, so is Volley. I need that Rift Maker, man. I need a lot of gold, actually. Like an obscene amount of gold. I'd like to be able to push this, but this is a little dangerous. You, really hard to, to not die when they have things like Camille's and Zach's and all that crap. Super hard. That freaking Victor does a lot of damage too, actually. I guess I just wait for this to push into me. I need a lot of gold. I think I could solo kill people pretty easily, actually. Stay hidden, though. We don't know where Camille is, right? Camille could easily just E on me and ult me. I'm dead. I think he could easily kill me here. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Oh, we gotta get the frick out of here. Damn it. All right. Well, they got him. Uh, I would Baron if I were them. Honestly, that's a free Baron. It's completely free. <sighs> yeah, they're gonna Baron. Yeah, it's so free. It's so free for them. Okay, at least we almost have this now. That's nice. Gotta try my best to stop them. Try and throw some shrooms over or something. throwing ah they got it wow they threw so violently hard that's how you throw a platinum game that is how you throw a platinum game that is how you throw a freaking platinum game that baron call so the baron call was great but they took so long to even to run to it that it allowed us time to get over there and start poking them down and stuff. And also you could see all five of them were not focused on, uh, on nuking it. And if they were, they would have been fine. So they, they, they hardcore done goofed. They done goofed so violently hard. I think I'm going to start taking all the blue buffs away from Lucian too. I need blue buffs, please. Okay. Little shroomy. Nice. Okay. We're back in it, boys. We're back in it. Just like that. Okay. Enemy team threw super hard. We're in it. Now we got Rift Maker. Now we got to decide what we want. I think Zonia's is going to be our best friend here. Um, I'm going to hold off on buying any control words for a while because there's nothing up right now. It's really just about just being patient and farming. So let's just do that. All right. I'm going to get a quick, I'm going to get a little side lane shove here. Damn, my freaking Kaisa Yumi combo is coming in clutch. Man, they fed so hard in the beginning, too. 
Holy shit, yes. Feels good, man. Never flame the teammates, boys. Never flame. Let's run over and help our teammates out. Wow, Kaisa is like really overpowered. Holy God. I mean, it's definitely the Yumi, but damn. That's so crazy. Holy shit. Unbalanced. Yeah, that is true. But then again, these guys don't have any anti heal. What do you expect? I don't know. Crazy. We are getting carried and I love it. This makes up for the my four losses in a row. Dude, I'm telling you, I played so damn well those four games. So well. Like great KDAs. I'm I got both rifts. I'm stealing dragons. I'm like playing like an absolute hero. And uh not much I can do. Just how that's just how this elo goes sometimes. Okay. Yes, I got a blue buff. No. No. Okay, I'm not going to I see Lucian going top. I'm not going to steal his farm. Let's just go back. Okay, grab stopwatch over everything always at this point because you need the Zonia's active and ideally you want to be able to do two Zonia's. You want to be able to use stopwatch and then Zonia's. All right, no one's taking this blue buff because everyone's on the opposite side of the map. So I might as well just take it. In fact, I'm just probably going to group. I think splitting right now is just going to be stupid. Wait. Okay, that was awkward. I'm just going to go group with the team because of things like that, you see. If I'm there for that, I can pick up kills. I think he's just dead. Yeah. Those are trolling. Well, it's no good. I hate myself. All right, so when people are trying to split push and shit like this, it's not going to work, especially when you're going against the Camille that can just trap you and then Karma and like they have super movement speed. You can't do that. So this is a team comp, all these like 80 carries, like three 80 carries, basically, you have to group. You have to have to group. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to preemptively do this. They're not clearing any of my shroomies. All right, that's free for us. Nice. Oh, that sucks. I hate this elo. Okay, got the blind off. We're chilling. Keep running. Get the blind off immediately. Just, just kill, just kill, just kill, just kill, just kill, just kill. Let's go. That's game. Nice steal by Ezreal, but shit, man. Kaisa Yumi combo OP. Kaisa Yumi OP. Thank God. Thank God it's over. Because if this game goes on any longer, they're going to win with those dragons, man. Sheesh. Yeah, so honestly, I honestly believe that 131 almost never should be done, even on Teemo. I think you should just try and convince your teammates to push. I'm so used to 131 because I play people like Darius and Set, but with Teemo, you you can't split push. You cannot split push as Teemo. So just force people to group and you'll be fine. Oh boys, we're playing with the big dogs today. Let's do this. All right. I believe in our ability to, to slap some cheeks, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. I've had so much more success playing PTA than Grasp, so I am liking this way, 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 way more. I kind of want to go for a little bit of a cheese. Man, if I wasn't against Darius, dude, I totally probably... Eh, actually, Timo kind of can't cheese worth shit, so... Yeah, I kind of can't like it all, actually. Ooh, nice. Dude, how did I get all that? Oh my god, Alacrity OP. Okay, let's see how this goes. What is that noise? You guys hear that? What is this going is on? Attack. What is happening? What is happening? 
<laughs> Why is this? What is going on? Some random ass sound playing. This is a test. Okay, I get it. It's a test. Relax. I'm focusing trying to play League here. Uh, I don't understand what even that is. Relax. Relax. Okay, we need to actually get in this guy's face right now. All right, that was a mistake. Should not have used Q like that. It was a huge mistake. Nope. All right, well, once his stuff is down, I can be really aggressive here. Gwen jungle, probably useless as hell. This is going to be big. This guy's dead. I'm not falling for the trap of, of running in there, so let's just do this. Okay. Got his ghost. I should have I knew I should have flashed all right okay I messed up I messed up I uh thought I could get that auto but he eat at like the perfect time and cc'd me and then I I, I couldn't flash because I was cc'd so he did he did pretty good there he actually eq he eq'd pretty perfectly so well played to him all right I'm going for a uh actually an asher's tooth first believe it or not it's actually really really good I see all the Korean Timos actually build it first if they can Gwen is mid lane. I am not taking that. No, thanks. I'd like to be able to get a couple autos off on him. I'm just getting as many as I can here, but we need to trim this wave. Good news is we're denying him CS, which I like a lot. Ah, uh, I wish I could have gotten that one off. I'm feeling nice and juicy right now, boys. The Teemo master is here. Okay. Just keep pushing this out. The pr the problem the problem is I don't have attack range. It's the only thing that sucks about Teemo is his attack range is so bad. You kind of have to get in people's faces, which I really don't like doing. He's got no potion. Oh my god look at this attack speed i think the, the reason why they do the recurve bow and stuff first is just makes it so easy to last it if i had to guess it's just so easy to last it like this come on baby this is definitely a free kill for me if i can go get him 20 let's let's stall out 20 seconds actually and i'll kill him my jungler's coming up right now i don't really care if he recalls actually do i um, he, he kind of has to recall here. All right, whatever. Let's just push. Oh, he's not. Damn it. I really want to dive him. I know I can take him if I flash. Look, we got to flash his Q. It's that simple. Flash the Q. One more, one more auto would have done it right there. Pop our potion and stay nice and healthy here. Oh, God damn it. This is free. This is free. This is so free, dude. Now you want to play these dives extremely slowly because if I get hit here with an E, I'm screwed. Please die. Pl Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a solo kill, baby. That was juicy. That was a nice play. So when you go against Darius, just flash. All you do is flash his Q, bro. That's it. So easy. That's it. That was nice. I'm glad I got that extra auto off. So the thing is you have to fight and you have to dive in these waves. Otherwise, people are just not going to get punished. And you have this elo is all about punishing the bejesus out of people. Trust me when I say that, man. Climbing out of plat one is so annoying. Like, actually. Okay, we know where Gwen is. No Nocturne ultimate. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, this is sick. I didn't even realize my, uh... is that Nidalee support? I didn't even realize she was here. It's definitely a rift play. Um, if it's not cannon, I'll shove this. Hell yeah. Okay. We're going to shove this right now. 
All right, we're gonna shove this as quickly as we can. Oh yeah, dude, I like Nasher's Tooth over Rift Maker way better. I mean, look at this, just the snowball potential, man. All right, let's go back. Let's get uh, Nasher's Tooth. Oh my God, I have enough. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right, now, believe it or not, even though that these Korean guys are still going this build, they don't go Zerker Greaves anymore at all. In fact, they go Sork Shoes quite often, which I'm probably going to do. And if not Sork Shoes, they actually go Ninja Tabbies or something, which I think I'm going to actually have to get that instead because of Nocturne. Because Nocturne is going to jump on me. I'm going to get Draven ulted. Um, I'm going to get Ghosted on. Like a bunch of crap is going to happen to me that I have to be prepared for, you know? Bunch of crap. Bunch of crapola. And he's in this brush. Like, without a doubt. Also, Nocturne's probably going to come up here for the juice. Okay. Well, we know where you are now. Could get ghosted on, so let's be careful. Let's not overextend here. Now, remember, this is something to pay attention to. Plat 1. All we have to do in this situation is just take the L on this farm because I can guarantee you Nocturne is chilling waiting to ult me. I can guarantee it. Also, where's Darius? Also, where's Gwen? So let's just relax. And because this guy is Platinum 1 or D4, whatever the hell he is, he's going to make the mistake of doing this. Ooh, hold on. Oh my God. God, look at that. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh my God. Yo, I didn't expect that damage at all. Oh my God. Holy shit. Dude, that was inside. That was inside. Oh, that's kills on kills on kills. Let's go, baby. You guys are Gucci. You guys are Gucci. Daddy's going to take the next, the next tower. We're good. So here's an example of why rushing Nasher's Tooth is so much better than Riftmaker. It just it just seems like rushing Riftmaker just I mean I guess it gives you a bunch of good stats. It's just so expensive. Wait, actually I have no logic right now. I don't know what I'm saying. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. I think just being able to do have that attack speed is really nice. Okay. I believe we're gonna want to cheese here, right? Let me see what to do here. I think it's very easy for Darius to kill us right now. All right, let's just go back. We So you have to take the L on this wave. Normally, I think you should push this, but I mean, we got nothing up right now. Like, let's just let him do whatever. So let's go for Rift Maker. Now we got Leeching Leer. Now we're an absolute unit. Um, I think I'm going to probably just grab a Dark Seal Control Ward at this point. Like at this point, I am stacked. I really am stacked up. Um, I think I just have to go top lane here. Now, you don't want to split push until... Uh, that's the thing. You might be able to build that split push item on Teemo. But I don't know, man. All I know is that you should not split push on Teemo because he's just so much better of a team fighter. Is that, a, is that really a fist support? You really think that's going to work? Okay. So look, after Leeching Leer, after this... Uh, I'm sorry, after Rift Maker... I have to grab a, um, what's it called? What you might call it? A Zonia's Hourglass. Okay, that's not for me. It's down bot. You have to, because there's too much. There's Fizz ult. There's all this crap that's going to be on top of me. We have no choice. Okay. I just love this attack speed, man. Ow. That wasn't nice. Oh. Yeah, let's go help. You know, I, I find that I don't really have any um, problems right now at all with mana because I'm just auto. I have so much damage auto attacking alone, you know? Let's clear this wave out. Just do one. Look. Look at this. I mean, like, look, look at that damage. Look at that wave clear without anything. Um, it's a broken ass. Like, I get it. I get why the people do this. So you guys are probably going to see Manko go a completely different route than me. 
and it's because he's a much 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 more effective teemo than i'll ever be so the only way that i can climb with teemo is by cheesing and like hard hard carrying the game because in low elo you have to but you know he's playing in master tier challenger grandmaster all that shit right and there's no room there's no you can't really cheese in that elo you know people don't let you do that oh fuck me i think i might die i'm gonna walk up this way towards the tower towards safety okay you know we're doing pretty good we are doing pretty good um let's take a look so these guys are pretty these guys are monsters actually hold on i'm gonna do this so i don't miss any minions here go back now actually hold on. i should probably soak up this wave huh yeah soak up this wave okay um i would like to push this but this is this is very greedy this is extremely greedy i want everyone to know that this this could be bad it could be bad but then again it could there's potential we, we survive okay let's get out of here and the reason why i'm saying it could be bad because we don't see anyone on the map so i mean the good news is i have these two brushes warded so if they were going to come from somewhere it'd be like in the brush all right boys i just straight up i straight up just bought our rift maker <laughs> oh my god oh that guy is taking a lot of damage all right we're gonna want sork shoes because of triple ap on my team holy shit we're gonna want sork shoes here now we're gonna run it down mid and, and just end the game here dude i'm so fed oh my god i don't think i've ever been this fed on teemo in my life even when teemo was like op all right see what's going on there Should be a wrap okay okay ignore the fizz ignore this guy doesn't matter i am a strong teemo holy dude oh my lord you couldn't be you could not be more fed than i am right now i don't think you could it's kind of disgusting 36 seconds let's uh just take this maybe in the meantime there's nothing to take okay Cla classic i'm just gonna do what i can oh dude there's literally nothing what the frick what the freak what in the chicken just kind of preemptively get some shroomies down just to make sure they don't contest this at all they might be on rift here's the here's the thing whenever you go against nocturne you kind of need to make sure you're like standing on top of a shroom so if I'm gonna be in here, I'm gonna probably look to just do the. Oh wait, come here, come here, come here, come here. I'll be fine. There we go. Throw this on top me just in case. Uh, we seem to be quite safe. All right, we're chilling. Uh, I don't want to get caught out here. Oh God, wait, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are doing. Okay. Uh, I'll probably go take rift here. Seems like the easiest thing for me to do right now. God, look at this damage. Dear God. Yeah, let's just go solo this honestly this is really easy for us i'm gonna throw that there just to be safe i'm gonna pull it over here i'm gonna pull it down towards like safety and the reason i'm doing this is to make sure that i like it's not gonna get stolen easily you know I love having mana on this champion. Fuck yeah, let's go. All right, now we B. Holy God, I'm so fed. Okay, Zonia's. I'm gonna go Stopwatch and Sork Shoes here. Stopwatch obviously is gonna be the our best friend right now. Uh, uh, another control ward just in case. We're gonna hold on to it though. We don't wanna waste it. So after we get Zonia's, now we gotta just look at their team like what's a problem? I, I don't see any problems on their team whatsoever other than staying alive through these two. 
Uh, I, I'm to be honest with you, I might just get a um, Draven's got some healing. Morello could be good. I'm so fat, I'm gonna get Rabadons, I think. Okay, I'll probably just use Rift right now, honestly. Fizz is a support. He's not doing shit to us. Watch this. Okay. That's why we go stopwatch, my friend. That is exactly the reasoning behind stopwatch. Makes perfect sense, huh? I was able I was able to negate two ultimates with that. Oh, my teammates are going for a really, really bad Baron. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Gwen's bot lane. Okay, that's free. Now the only reason you're able to do this is if you have someone like Anivia. If you have a Cassiopeia, Anivia, someone that can like just destroy Baron very quickly. That's what you want. Oh, that guy's getting nerfed. Like uh, he's getting smurfed on. Okay, we're just gonna go mid lane. We're gonna go mid lane and farm. Wait for our team. All mid as five. We're gonna get everyone to group. Nocturne could ult me here, but I can one v one him. I'm gonna just try and stay in like a relatively safe spot. Come mid now, free inhib, then dragon. Inhib is just too, it's too free right now for us to not five man this. There's no universe the enemy team can touch us in a fight. The fuck is this Nidalee doing? We might need a void staff as well. What's this guy doing? And as you can see, nice. And now we just power through and the game's over. I told you if they try and fight us, they're, they're losing. There's no universe they win. Also really strange how they're uh, not building MR, like at all, considering we have three fed APs. So you got to watch out for that. You got to make sure that uh, in this situation, we should be building um, a void staff as well. I don't know what my team's saying. Why would we not take that? No, definitely free. We could have just taken that and dipped. That's okay. Let's just run. Let's not be greedy. In this situation, they're all up, right? And they know we're doing dragons. So don't, don't, don't risk it by taking any of that, that stuff. All right, let's just get out. Recall in a safe spot. Don't ever recall like right here. You know, they're going to come chase you down. Don't do it. Okay. Now we got Zonius and let's look, are they building MR? No. So that means void staff doesn't make any sense here. So what makes the most sense to me personally is Rabadon's or Morello. Um, I am so disgustingly fed that I think I could like 1v9, honestly. So I'm going to get a Rabadon's death cap here. All right. I was going to say we can end mid lane, but our Baron's about to run out. So never mind. Holy shit, dude. Okay. Now when I play Teemo, I don't like to just waste my shroomies. I kind of try and like put them in like somewhat strategic spots. What is that? What is going on, bro? I mean, I have Zonia's right? So it's like not going to really do anything to us. Get the Draven. Okay. Ooh, this is awkward. I don't really know what to do here. I can't see anything. Unnecessary by Kane. Very unnecessary. That right there. So what Kane just did, like, 
going for the tower dive when we have all this is is unnecessary and challenger players would never do that unless their whole teammates their whole team is like with them right that's the only time that really makes sense essentially what i'm trying to tell you guys holy frick what i'm trying to tell you guys is there is no need to like ever be greedy in this game when you're this far ahead of people oh shit no oh, no 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 there's no need to be greedy you want to play you need to learn to play very very um consistently precise i don't really i don't really know what the correct terminology is for that but Like what they're doing that's platinum that's that's how you stay in this elo okay don't do stuff like that now let's go back and let's start working on our rabidons here uh at this point i'll get magis and we will lock down rabidons and i will be the most fed teemo you've ever seen okay mm. all right baron's not up for 60 seconds 60 seconds baron bot shove then baron very easy I remember we're 11 and two we're really fed but we don't want to we, we don't want to throw so you don't want to be split pushing in top lane and then get nocturne ulted or five man ganked you don't want to be mid lane up here don't risk you guys just seriously just stop risking stop risking your games there's a reason why you guys are platinum and there was a reason why i couldn't get out of plat one for so long oops and it's because i'd be so overzealous constantly trying to make weird plays by myself even when i was fed as hell and that's just not that's just, like this, this shit. This is not how you climb. Okay. All right, now we can just end. Should be able to end this. I get it. It's fucking Draven, man. It's pretty good. Oh. Psych. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. There it is, fellers. Fizz support OP. That guy is trolling so hard. Holy shit. And Golden Teemo. Not bad. And I got the plus 50. All right. Next game. All right, ladies and gents. Apparently, we're going against uh, a super smurf right now. Apparently this guy is the god of all gods, so this is gonna be a tough one. See how this goes. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the exact same approach as last time. This will be hmm. Going against set is really hard, but as long as I just cue him when he tries to jump on me, I'm fine. I think what we really need to watch out is for this. Watch out for the Smurf of all Smurfs. Watch out for his level one all in trades here. That's what we gotta watch out for. He's got D shield. This guy types a lot. Kane, ba ba. Kane, ba 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 ba. Now in this matchup, you really gotta respect. You you gotta respect Set Man. He is probably one of the most broken champions in existence right now. And they have an Akali. Oh my God, we're definitely getting Zonias later. Holy crap! Definitely gotta zone this guy out better. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll take that. Um, he definitely comes out on top of that one. I can play that better. God, it's just so hard to get close to set because his E range is my auto attack range, essentially, which I hate. All right, now I have to stay. I have to stick around for this. What a mistake. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Let's go. 
shitting on the smurf oh god what oh man all right now there is one thing to know i will say is whatever i haven't looked at this guy's stats but the whole time my whole team is complaining like their whole team has four smurfs the thing you guys gotta understand it doesn't matter how good someone is on paper if you know how to play the matchup and what you're supposed to do as your champion which is why you guys are watching this guide it doesn't matter who you play against it really doesn't matter like i've literally played against some of the best players in the entire world and what they do is they play how they're supposed to play so consistently so it's hard to ever capitalize on a mistake against them or if you're like if you don't know what you're doing that's kind of where you you mess up so what was that it is what it is boys ping okay try to make sure i get all these again i'm going for the same build again nasher's tooth first i think it's i think it's amazing i also think that if you can get really good at spacing i think it's just even better okay um now he has no flash actually so i have a pretty good advantage on this guy Okay, we chase him down here. Uh, even with the boots, he's faster than I am. But this this doesn't matter though, because I can actually keep a, a nice CS lead on him. All right, now he's just dead. Oof! Oh, I should have turned on him right there. Okay. Let's pop a potion just to stay nice and healthy. Alright, he messed up. Whew. Nice gank, bro. Nice gank. Okay. This is a huge, 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 huge W. Uh, we could potentially smack this guy around. Don't think it's worth it, actually. I think it's better for me to just go back. Okay, let's just let's do this. Take these out. Try not to miss anything. Nice. Let's go back. He just missed like a million waves there. That's beautiful. All right, so at this point... We're killing it. Um, looks like we're gonna need some early Sork shoes. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab this and some early Sork shoes to smurf on this guy. Grab this, grab another uh, health potion. And let's go back to lane, try and catch the wave quickly. Looks like we're smurfing on the smurf. See fellas, that's that's why you never need to worry. You should never worry, ever. The, the, here's the fact. I don't care what, how good someone is that's playing in your elo if they're not playing in master tier challenger like that's that's your elo you're playing in the chances are they're where they're just they're probably like a pretty good player but you don't there's nothing to be scared of you know okay i think we're playing at around 2200 mmr right now too okay we don't want to commit to an all-in i'm pretty sure he could kill me i'm not sure Actually, I probably should have because what's the worst he can do is just ult me. Yeah, okay. See, if I was a better team up player, I think I should have chased that maybe, but I'm not sure. I definitely want to keep autoing him as much as I can. There we go. Get proc that taste of blood. Just stop him from healing too much. Got to watch out for that Evelyn, man. That is a free kill. If she comes up here, I'm staring at my mini map right now. Really don't want to overextend. Also, this guy has flash, so he can make some pretty easy moves on me. Let's keep slow pushing this. If Evelyn, oh, there's Evelyn. Eve top. See if I can cheese her actually. Oh, yes.
So this is a huge play. This is a huge play. Okay, just like that. That right there, my friends, is a huge freaking play. Holy crap, that was so good. Oh my God, that's what I needed. Looks like Silas is, or Set is slow pushing now. I have red buff. I might just want to go fight this guy actually. Because now there's no danger from Evelyn. I can just get all up in this guy's face with red buff. Look at that. Look how juicy that is. Holy shit, dude. They're fuming. They're absolutely fuming. I'm just going to let this push into me now. It's like Silas is screwed. Damn. Mm, we're going to need to get a ward behind us for the Evelyn. Evelyn's definitely going to... Oh, no, she's not here. Okay, we're good. God, I don't want to dive this guy so badly. 59 to 84. Oops, that was not the correct thing to click on. Nice. There's a desperation play from him. Very, very, very desperate. Uh, he does have TP, so we can only take one plate here. Okay. Oh my God. I hate when that happens. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here before he TPs. There we go. All right, nice. Now, take rift, we dive, set, top, together when i get back nasher's tooth all right my friends we are strong as balls i'm gonna grab a stopwatch here because i am fed i want to keep my snowball we're not gonna grab a health potion here we're done buying potions um i like the stopwatch here because i am four and one and i have a shitload of shutdown gold on me 400 going on 700 now right so i want to grab stopwatch and now i want to go straight into rift maker i want to get this leeching leer as fast as i can mm. sets sentence getting a little desperate He's getting a little desperado. Let's hard shove this to deny set. Um, I don't need to go help with Rift because set is trolling mid lane, so we're good. Dude, why does this why does this happen to me? The minions just juke me out. I guess he could rift mid. Okay. I gotta tell you, bro. I don't think I'll ever play Grasp Teemo again. This is so good. I, I'm sure there's times where Grasp makes way more sense. Maybe into the tanks, like maybe into a Maokai top lane or something, or I'm sorry, Malphite top lane. But like against the Fioras, the Ribbons, like anyone else, man, this is so much better. Um, probably just show up to this, honestly. There's no way this guy shows up here, right? Just I'll just cover mid. Ah, damn it. I really wish I could have gotten that. So you're probably asking yourself, why are we rotating mid right now? And it, it, to be honest with you, I think trying to like sit there and go for tier two towers and stuff is kind of a waste when I can guarantee this. I can just guarantee this tower, then I can rotate back up top lane. And at the same time, look at how much I'm going to be able to deny their team from this, you know? Okay, I'm stupid. I deserve to die here. That's my bad. That was my bad. He might die. Oh no. That was my bad. That was my bad. I should, I should not have been there in the first place. That's stupid. So, okay, look. So right there. That's a perfect example, me dying right there, of tunnel vision, right? That is a perfect, perfect example. Uh, not paying attention, and right there, there's no need for me to die. There is no need for me to die there, right? But that, that's the type of shit that stops you from climbing in platinum. Because look, I just gave whoever like 400 gold, 500 gold. I don't know how much I just gave them. 450 bounty, right? The guy that was once super far behind, I just put him back into the game. Well, I mean, I didn't put him back into the game, but I just made his chances a whole lot better, you know? And 
for absolutely no reason you know there was no need for that to happen all right um i'm gonna try and kill this akali i think if i can I don't know why he just did that. He just entered. All right. Well, we're too far away from our team. And it's only second dragon. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to take this. Their whole team is over there. So it's fine. Put that there. Evelyn's bot. So we can take this free tower. Don't tell me I messed that up again. Oh my God. Oh, I missed the cannon. No. So stupid. All right. Okay. All right, now we do not continue pushing. We take, we take, 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 take everything we can here. Okay. Beautiful. Can even use this if I need to. Don't need to though. Just take, 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 take all this and get out. We're doing this all in a very safe way. We're not being greedy. It's probably the most important thing I'd say about getting out of like plat one D4. Just get rid of the greed. And look, look, you see, now I deny her like crazy. Okay, let's get Riftmaker. And now, my friends, we have a choice here. I could go down the Magi Soul Stealer route again because I am kind of smurfing, but um, eh, yeah, I'm down. Here's the thing. If, let's say if they had a Zed that was like 10 and 0 or if a Kali was like, like hard smurfing, this makes no sense because it's really easy to kill me. It's like extremely easy to kill me, right? But I don't see any of them actually being able to kill me anytime soon. Also, pay attention. We have four AP on our team, so Void Staff might actually be a very good option for us. Uh-oh. We need a five, man. Here we go. Wow. Frickin' fiddle. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's weird that they don't build like any MR whatsoever. It's it's quite disturbing. Tower, there's nothing else to take. If Evelyn wants to come fight, I'm ready. I will destroy her. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, that was just like, so, so here you got to ask yourself that question. What is the purpose behind even going for that kill on Lux, right? There is no purpose. Ah, uh, damn. Wish I could help out here. Hmm. Wish I could do something there. Um, maybe there's something here. Whatever. I don't think flashing on him was necessary. Thanks, dog. What a good guy. I'm just gonna hard shove this out, honestly. Quick little shoveruski. Oh my god, I missed cannon again. I hate myself. Okay. Now let's not be greedy. Wait, there we go. Let's not be greedy. Let's take this and we're gonna run it down together as five group, five man mid with rift. Dude, this Silas is so cool. Thanks, dude. Okay, again, try not to waste mana. Timo is very, 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 very mana hungry. Just remember that. I mean with with how strong oh shit. Okay. Uh, I just, I just put my hands in the air. <laughs> oh, so stupid. Okay, now we can't go Majize. As you can see, the only times I'm dying right now is when I'm not paying attention and I'm trolling. So just, just like, or doing stuff like this, that's platinum. Just don't do that. All right, we're switching things up a little bit. Okay, so it looks like their their whole team is pretty useless besides uh, Evelyn. Tristana has to jump into me, and if she does, I'll just press Q on her face. So I'm gonna go a Banshee's Veil so I can't get engaged on by Evelyn. What the hell was that? Oof. So this is gonna make it so I don't get one-shotted by that Evelyn, like ever. 
Okay, let's not front line. Oh my god. Thank god I built that, dude. She just wasted her ultimate on me. God damn, this is scary. Let's just take the dragons. Again, I need that Banshee's Veil, dude. She is pretty freaking scary. Nice. Let's go, team. Teammates are fine. Teammates are looking good. I'm going to just solo this, I think. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're good. We're fine. Okay. We're chilling. I just nuked this bad boy by myself. No big deal. Nice. Uh, aw. Okay. Let me see if this guy's still being greedy over here. Nope. Just take this, this creep wave and then we'll go back. Oh, there is no wave. That's kind of awkward. The waves right here. I'm not going to take it. I don't want to get killed. Okay. Banshee's veil. Keep me safe. And then now I don't see any MR still. I still see zero MR. Um, to be honest with you, I might, <laughs> I might go just Rapidons again, man. Everyone is just glass cannon mode. I, I might as well go top here. Try and soak up this wave. Maybe Smurf on the Akali. Let's uh, make sure there's no Evelyn hiding anywhere. So whenever you go against an assassin player, of any elo always expect them to sit in brushes and do really weird things that you're not going to expect so you need to be like overly careful like essentially i'm not even going to risk pushing that out because i know she can kill me so until i see her on the map i'm not doing shit. and in fact i'm just going to ditch the cs i'm going to ditch the cs and i'm going to i'm going to shroom the shit out of everything here What a little bastard. There we go. That's Baron. And that, my friends, is why you put those little shroomies down. You see that? Just to protect yourself from being like cheese like that. Okay, I'll put one behind me just in case someone wants to come over here. Another little tip too, you don't need to touch this um, this ward because they can't see anything. We're chilling. They can't do anything to us. Oh my God. This Silas is like a hard stuck platinum player, bro. <laughs> All right, rabbit on. Five man mid. Yo, Silas, just group BB. We win. Okay, cool. Fiddlesticks has 3k gold. Oh my god. But as you can see, I'm not like prioritizing farming and all this crap like at all because it doesn't matter. All right, just. Fuck me. I'm so stupid. All right. I'm an idiot. Ugh. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I'm right there with you guys. You guys know me. I'm a low diamond player myself. I am not a super high yellow player. So I do that shit all the time. You know, like I know it's coming and I still do it. You know, it's just so hard not to because it's so easy to just forget and just like you're you're so fed, you know, Man, getting a Zonias or something might even be the best option for me. All right, I just, I really just need to stay with my team, dude. Stay with my team. I need to one shot that fool. Just stay in the safe zone. Now against Evelyn, I will gladly freaking shroom up the whole map
Oh shit. That was so good, dude. Yes. Vision is key, boys. Might as well just get this. Um, guess I'll just push out bot. That dragon really doesn't make that much of a difference to be honest with you. I mean, I guess the movement speed is nice to be able to kite, but I'd much rather have like a mountain soul into their team so I could just never die. So I'm still gonna lock down Rabanons, but then after that, I'm considering Zonia's now because this guy's kind of a problem. Evelyn is up. Let me get out of here. I don't want to die. Just haul ass. Just haul ass, boys. Haul ass. Five man. Let's group. Fuck. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's very important. Oh, please hit the shroom. Hit the shroom. No way. You just randomly decided not to go there. Uh Oh, some weirdness is going down here. Holy shit. I mean, this is what happens when we group, bro how fucking easy that is if we just group so i mean it's a tough thing to not get caught out when like you're being hard focused like that but dude you just gotta be so damn mindful because like if that was a zed if that was a talent if that was any assassin that's what they're gonna do to you constantly so i'm gonna finish my rabidons i'm gonna go zonia's to buy myself some time put a shroom on top of myself do whatever i need to do There we go. That's the end of the game. Evelyn shows up. She's dead. Nice. Victory, boys. Victory. Couple. We got caught out. Like, I just died like three times in a row. Maybe even four. Oh, my God. All right. Next elo. Hello, YouTube and everybody watching this. Thank you again for watching this video and loving Timo. We are playing a game in Grandmaster elo. It's going to be a good time. We are looking at the enemy team. They have a Nid jungle and an Orn top. So Orn into Teemo is a good lane for him and a bad lane for me. So I'm a little worried about the lane. The jungle matchup, we'll see. Lee Sin is better than Nid right now. Although Nid does have a strong early game, right? So we have to respect the Nid elite. Bad lane plus strong jungle. I'm a little scared, right? So we're going to be playing this they playing this pretty passive. We're not going to really go for any trades. We have to let Lee work his magic if he wants to. You know, I, this game's not really in my hands in the early game. Good play. That's okay. Oh, I thought I thought Nott was going to flash for that. They have a Zed mid that's scary. Everything else is pretty, pretty okay. So we're playing this lane passive. I took runes to kind of replicate that. I'm not, I don't have attack speed. I'm just scaling, right? This lane, we're not doing anything. Not doing anything in this lane. So. Where do I put my ward? I want to make sure Nid doesn't invade. Actually, it's okay, because Lee's just going to come right to blue anyway, so. Just going to go top. Lee is passing top. So every jungler right now in the meta, power farming is kind of dead. So Lee's probably going to do red... Like blue, gromp, gank top. Nid's probably gonna do the same thing. Nid started her red. So we don't have to worry about her ganking, right? Nid's gonna start her red. Maybe do Krugs or Wraiths, you know? Or at least doing, okay, at least doing Krugs. So I guess he's farming. But either way, he's gonna be top eventually. Unless he level two ganks bottom, that's a possibility. I don't think so. So he's gonna be top side. I'm gonna let this push. And maybe Lee can get off a nice gank. I would think Nid's invading our blue. I was I was thinking Lee's gonna go to his blue, but I don't know. I would think Nid's invading it to be honest. I didn't work because I thought Lee was gonna go there. But I, I could definitely see Nid going her red to our blue. I mean, especially if she doesn't show up on this ward, so we gotta be extra safe. I 
I would I would think Nid's doing our blue. Maybe not. Lee's taking a farm path, which is odd, but it is what it is. I've got this in a nice spot. Think that that's warded. If Lee doesn't fight Nidalee, that means Nid is at her blue. So we'll see her in a moment. Nid went mid, okay. So Nid did, Nid did the same path as Lee. I'm not going to be able to freeze this. So interesting. I'm surprised that gank works, to be honest. Th that's about... That's the early game. Orin, you can... I mean... Timo, listen. I'm going to let you on a secret. Timo leaning phase blows cock in 90% of matchups. There are some matchups like Mundo where you actually get to play the game. But a lot of matchups, you don't get to do anything early. And this is one of them. Orin did ward this, so... But we're in a good spot. We're just kind of chilling. The jungle pet, the jungle tracking was all wrong, to be honest. Nidalee did a, Nidalee did Red Krug's raid. So did Lee Sin, which is which is odd these days, but it's fine. Only done a couple CS. I don't want to take any trades, right? Orange just bonks me. We're just slow pushing this. We're cool. We're chilling. I'm scaling. Orange warded it again with that little movement there, but doesn't really matter. Just gonna let the slow push. We're just vibing. Nid's definitely bottom. There she is. Our team didn't die to it. Good job by them. Lee's up a little farm. Nid's up a little jungle pressure. Oh, Anivia just solo dolo Zed. Okay, after getting first blooded. Wow. Okay, Anivia. We take those. We just want to make sure Orn doesn't freeze us. We're slow pushing, but we don't want him to freeze it. Because Nid, Nid will be up here eventually. I can't do anything to him. Like, we we can't really take trades. He's not scared of me. He knows that I can't do shit. We're just trying to get this pushed out. He might be able to freeze it, to be honest. Like I said, Timo's dirt early game, so. I'm on borrow time here. You know Nid's, like, running straight top. Probably going to have to let him freeze it, to be honest. Nid leads mid, okay. Nid being mid there is huge. I actually get to shove out this wave. That's beautiful. Nice. He doesn't get a freeze. That's really, really important. I'm, I'm willing to give I'm willing to give freezes in the early game because I understand how bad Teemo is. But we didn't have to. That's good. Honestly, I'm not even basing. I'm going to still let him push back. I'm just going to grab more farm. No reason to base. I'll get boots and daggers. Like, who cares, right? Okay, I guess we'll base. If he's basing, I'll base. That's fine. It's going to push to me. We still have our pots too, so this is, I mean, like I said, this is about how the lane's gonna go. You know, Orn is, it's not a fun lane, he, he wins early game. With Orn, for you to kill him, you have to take press the attack and you have to land so many damn autos. For him to kill you, he presses EQ one time. Ooh, ooh, not got a, ooh, Nid flashed. Our bot lane is handling his jungle pressure really well. Orn TP'd, fuck. Orn, miss it. Orn messed up his TP, nice. Our bot lane is quite poggers, let's get this shoved out. Orn TP didn't got nothing. Good job, team. Wow. Okay. Orn TP didn't got nothing. I've got little dagger poos, so I get to get some waves here. That's really good. That's going to put us ahead. Good job, bot lane. Our bot lane is completely 3v2ing. Good job, team. I get one plate. He misses a wave, and I get one plate. That's good enough. <laughs> and maybe he said, hello. Wait, you don't like power farming Lee Sin? Come on, man. He doesn't even miss that much, though. This guy hauled ass back to top lane. Gotta be careful of Nidalee, right? Good pink ward. If he pops level 6, he just kills me, but I'm down. Zed's bottom. He's level 6. That's okay. When he uses his combo on the wave, I'm down. I don't think we should go just like that. I think we should have waited. I think we had all the time in the world if we waited. But, I mean, it's a chunk. I don't think I want to go for this, right? Like, Nidalee... Okay, that's fine. It's actually okay. That's fine. Zed's coming and Nivia's here, though. I'm down. We should fight, yeah. Zed's here. It's okay, though. She dies to electrocute, right? No way Nid doesn't die. Okay, this is fine. What about him? Okay, that's all good. Oh, whoa, whoa, chill! Okay, we're good. He's playing Lisa and Lee's broken. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna go shove this wave. Okay, now now we gotta go. Nid's, nids quick, y'all. Nid's quick. Good job, good job. See, like I said, just you just have to know your game plan. Farm early. Just farm early game, man. 
Farm it out in a bad lane. No pressure to do anything. Or we made a bad TP. We capitalized. Lee had a nice little ganky wanky. It's good stuff. I get another plate here. He misses a little bit more CS. I get another plate. So just building a lead very, very slowly. A little bit of a lead. Just a little guy, right? Couple CS. Couple plates. Bot got, got rolled. It's okay. They played from minute one till eight pretty perfectly. Then they died there. It happens. We're looking pretty okay. Lee's ahead of Nidley. I'm ahead of Orn. Not bad. Still can't, I still can't do anything alone, right? Like, I still can't... This guy, just because I have a lead, right? I can't do anything still. He's just playing Orn. So... But it's still good. Not being behind is a powerful tool. I want to go ward our blue, to be honest. Because Nidley just counter jungles so freely. Do I just take this? Hey, the egg. Nice. Little egg boy. Little egg guy. Uh, Nidalee could very well be in the bush. Getting bush ganked is really... Really OP, I'm not gonna lie. So she could be just waiting in the bush for me. A little scared. Like, I'm still just trying to play as safe as possible. Nid's at Krugs. Cool. We see that. So, I mean, she's gonna head top. My wave is effed. Like, there's no shot I can push this out or anything. Like, I just have to... If he wants to freeze it, he can freeze it. Had to keep my health. Okay, nice. Nid's, Nid's gonna be doing Herald, right? Nid's, okay, so she's going for the bush gank, right? That's why I put that shroom there. <laughs> the classic, I hate that bush gank. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And we put that shroom there for a reason. I didn't just randomly put that there, right? I, if I was in Lee, I'd go for an invade. So I'm just gonna hang tight here for a moment. I'd either go Herald or for an invade. I'm not going there because you know they're probably just bushwhacking. Ooh, that's okay. I'm on my way. Am I gonna be late? Yep, I am late to the party. Good job. I mean, good job by Orn. Good job by Orn. That's a good room. That's a good room for them. If Anivia lives, that's kind of poggers. I have to respect that they're just waiting there. So Nid's bottom, Orn's top with no R. Anivia died. That's tough for me because I have to respect they're sitting in the bush waiting for me, right? But, you know, so I can't go up. I have to respect the bush cheese. I can't really like cover that room. That's just tough. That's really good, but I mean, they just popped off there. Their team played that really well. I can kill this guy if he gets like dumb, but he has, to, like I said, for Orn to die to Teemo, he has to play really bad. Thank you. That's a, that's a good play by them, to be honest. I don't really need to help this, but I can't do anything up top. I need 100 gold for Nashies. One more wave, I get my Nashers, and I do some sort of damage. Still not much. Still can't kill Warren, but at least I do a little damage. It's just the life of playing a scaling champion, right? All it is. Warren's a beast in the lane. Warren's like Scion, but like cooler. Uh-oh. Nid's taking over. I'm just gonna base. Get my Nashers. Lee, uh, Lee's farming well. He's up some CS, but I definitely would like to see some more ganks out of our jungle. But also, Anivia is playing. Anivia is playing like she's like Yasuo, right? As Anivia, you just gotta sit back and farm, bro. You know, like you are. I, I would like to see more ganks out of Lee, but it's like you don't have to play like your Yasuo as, as Anivia. Orn has TP. They could be waiting in the bush in theory, but I don't think they are. Sometimes you respect the bush, sometimes you don't. Okay, nice. We're in. I'm going to grab a plate here. I might doubt a knit if she's on top of things, but I'm just going to grab this and run for the hills. I I don't want to do any... I just want to wait here. Here I just need more info. Like, is Orn going to TP bottom, right? Is Nid bottom? Is Nid top? Is Orn going to TP bottom? Is Zed going bottom? We really need to wait... For more info. Zed's mid. We don't know where Nidley is, right? So Nid could be on me. She could be bottom. Just need more info. We're just waiting for it. I don't want to base because if something does pop off. So there's Nid. Yeah, our, our Anivia is just not playing like Anivia. Maybe I get a kill here. Maybe. Maybe I don't. Oh, man. Oh, yes. The Sunfire. You love to see that. 
The sunfire. <laughs> Patience like a Buddhist monk up here, baby. I'm I'm scaling, baby. I'm scaling. Just got a scale forehead. Now that, that makes me happy. Zed's fed. I'll probably have to get a Zanya. I just gotta respect that guy. I can get more plates here. Orn has TP though, so Orn could just kill me. No, what are you doing, baby? What are you doing, not? I okay, that's fine. Nice, nice, nice. I can actually backtrack Nid all the way here. Zed's got nothing. I'm I'm looking, looking for Nid. Found her. Can I actually kill? Sure can't. Oh man, that's rough. Oh, uh, uh, that's perfect. I played that absolutely perfect. I'm the best player in the world. Just kidding. Wait, ooh, he's... Look at this guy. Okay, nice. Okay, I mean, I just... Listen, I wouldn't say I played that well, but let's just say we baited. Good job, Ezreal, good job. I'm shoving, Lee, I'm shoving. Oh, baby. Listen, my team played that perfectly, but I did facilitate that, you know? My team played it absolutely perfect, but we facilitated that. Who are we scared of? Nidalee? Who cares? That's what we're scared of. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, he's a sniper, man! That's what we're scared of. Okay, well, you should have told me, Lee. Ah, oh, I feel like an idiot for dying there, I'm not gonna lie. That's my bad. I'm just pushing top here. I don't need to go over there. Like, a fight's not gonna happen. This game is pretty high tempo. We have to realize, like, let's look at the pace of the game, right? 24 kills. 24 kills at, at 15 minutes. Very high tempo game. Doesn't mean I have to play like a maniac, though. I'm down to go mid. I mean, well, actually, uh, Zed's dead, so Nid can't kill me. Like, Nid doesn't want me one me right now if I play it half decent, so we're actually gonna keep pushing. Mmm, Jin's missing. Orange coming top. We'll base. Orange coming top. Nid somewhere over here. I'm gonna go blue orb just for if I split. I'm down to go bottom here. Match Jin. Uh, so, right, this game is tricky. I'm not gonna be able to 1v1 Orn. Like, I cannot split this game because he's playing Orn. I can't kill him by the time his team shows up. Team's just A ramming it. Jin's also mid with R, probably. I guess I have to go mid. We're just A ramming. I'm here. We have engaged, so Aram's not even that bad. Okay. I mean, this is kind of okay, no? Oh, he still has ult. Okay. Lee left. That's interesting. Um, I have Ignite, so that's pretty bad. I mean, there's no, nothing I can do about this, right? Trying to 2v1. Um, man, I don't know. I get Nid there. That was good. I killed Nid. I don't see what took my team so long. I feel like I was kiting forever. I don't know what took them so long to get to me. I don't know why I died there. I don't feel like I had to die there. The Nid kill was good. A little greedy. I didn't ignite. But the Nid kill was good. I got to shut down. I get Orn killed. Zed gets out somehow. I feel like my team took 30 years to use their abilities. That's rough, but... It's okay. We're going Leandries next. I don't think I need Zanyas. Like, what's the chance that Zed presses army all game? I think I'm down to flip it, right? I'm down to flip that Zed does an army. So we'll probably go, um... If we get Infernal, we'll go Death Cap. If we don't get Infernal, we'll probably Cosmic Drive. Cosmic Drive just is usually good. If Zed's in the bush, I die. It's a good play. If he's in the bush with R, I'm dead. But I'm down to, to risk it here for another wave. Get this pushing. Nid's doing a lot of damage, so I gotta be a little careful. Our team's topside. I can't push. I'm down to play with Lee. This is a little greedy for sure, but if he's doing it, I'm here. Ah, shit. Ah, double shit. Lee's dead. We gotta, we gotta let him go. He's gone. He's gone. Okay, we're all dead. Okay, really good job, Lee. That was really smart by him. Our, our whole team's dead. I'm just gonna try and grab one kill if I can. Make sure it's important not to die for this. Not sure what that guy was thinking. We, they don't get Baron at least. That's good. I'm just going to wait here. Orange still is R. We might be able to seek a kill. That's kind of okay. I'm here, Ezreal. Well, we cannot seek a kill. Never mind. 
I'm just trying to protect him. That was really bad by Lee. I don't know what he was thinking, but it's fine, I guess. That TP to Drake, sure. I'm going to go pivot over there. As long as I don't throw, right? I'm, I'm the insurance policy. Oh, whoops. Okay, that's fine. Didn't mean to click that. I thought I had a sweeper. I can see us going for this now. Oh, this is pinked. She's running right at us. What? What? Hey, dude. What are you playing Lee? Are you our Lee Sin or something? Hold that true for me as well. Ooh, ooh. Um... I'm just waiting for something to break out here. We're chilling. Nice. Oh, she has nothing. Vilkaz has nothing here. Nice, nice, nice. It's a good fight. All right, Nidalee got Lee Syndrome. What the hell was that? We'll go We'll go Death Cap third item. Zeta's a lot of kills, so we'll go Death Cap and a, and a stopwatch, I think. Because we have to respect the ZR. My team's got that. I'll grab Bot Wave. Wow, the Nidalee. That was great. Thank you, Nidalee. Like, Art Lee Sin did what he did, and Nidalee just said, hey, I'll give you one back. I'm like, thanks, dude. Oh, oh, man. Oh, have fun over there. Oh, they're, they're all dead. Oh, no. Okay, I don't want to watch. I'm going to shut my eyes and pray. Okay, we got it. We got Zed. That's kind of cool. Good luck, team. I'm going to be down here. Where is it, Warren? I can 1v1 Nid. I can't kill Warren and Nid. Okay, I'm out. Orange here, I'm out later. Nid's mid. Nid's mid, okay. It's okay, we're scaling. Like, I'm getting really... I'm getting big, right? I'm doing my thing. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. It's a little risky. We get this. I'll sit on the stopwatch. I'll have the stopwatch just in case. I do want to get... Um, I, I don't think I want to build full Zanyas. I do want to get Deathcap next. Because we... You know, we're looking good with our EP. I have scaling AP runes, like death cap next and be a lot of damage. They don't really have much magic exist, only Orn. So I, do, I really want to get death cap this game. Yeah, I mean, this is the game for me to go full AP. They have no healing. I don't need oblivion orb. They've got no magic resist. Like Zanya's is good if Zed's effing me, but I'm going to grab this. I feel like I'm, I'm doing really well. I need to three and eight, so I don't think it's going to be good on her. Only way I die this game is if I play like an idiot or if Zed presses R. Um, I can't, I can't hold Zed. So that's a, that's gonna be a problem. But Lee Sin's up there. Maybe we can go together. I I was I know I was on a pink ward, but it's fine. Okay, this is kind of okay. Nice. I'm going to try and zone the Val-R. Oof. That's fine. I mean, that's okay. We can try our best here. Oh, that's really big. Nice, Nautilus. I got Velkaz too. Nice. I'm making sure this Velkaz doesn't really get to play the game. Like, that's my role so far. Oh, baby. Come to Papa. Come to daddy -o. Daddy needs a new pair. Woo! All right. He got a little greedy. He got a little greedy there with that path thing. Papa Manko's here to play. I'm literally making sure this Velkaz isn't able to play the game. Like, whenever he's doing a team fight, I'm just ready to run at him. It's looking good. It's looking good, really. I'm, I'm, I'm performing. This is great. My positioning is good this game. Teemo is... With team fights, Teemo's tough because it's, it's a lot of just positioning. A lot of positioning, a lot of, like, reading their cooldowns. Make sure you don't play too aggressive or too safe. But this game, we're balancing it pretty well. Oh, GG. Oh, thank God. We don't even have to worry about throwing. Oh, that's a beaut. That's a beauty of a game. Let's do it. Let's do it. This game, I could definitely play the early game. I'm going to be able to play the early game because Lee is passing top. And I have a pretty decent... Mundo's a decent lane. I wouldn't say it's a good lane, but it's decent enough. So I do want to try and play the early game here. So he's actually like just, he's, okay, so he's not, so this is what, you know, last game, we had a lead that did the red Krugs raids. This guy's doing red raids top. So it's like, unless he goes Krugs after, we'll see. Pretty sure power farming is not as good anymore since the, the changes. Mundo isn't a freebie lane, but I can at least auto and, and, and play it a little bit, right? So it's like better than our last two games. 
I don't mind him pushing us. It's kind of good. We just headed top, so. We're just chilling. This is actually good because he's like Mudo can ward, sure, but I mean, Lee is here. This is kind of kind of good. I don't know his cleaver going through. I don't know what that does yet, to be honest. I just want to make sure this wave doesn't get hard shoved. I just want to keep it here. Make it one friendly ping. Let him know that, like, hey, we should look for this. Good job, bottom. It's huge. Really huge, actually. I don't want to give him this cannon. He's going to have to die for it. Oh. Well, maybe I die for it. No ward. Lee's, like, really pow- Like, this dude's really power farming. It's kind of- I don't think it's that good. There's no ward. Hmm. Well, I might get, if I get ganked here, it's going to be an FF angle. Nice, I got the Q off. It's beautiful. And it's beautiful. Definitely very risky, because I could have easily got Kha'Zix ganked. But, um, it worked out. He's going to TP, right? I can't get this shoved. Can I get a little, can I get, Lee, just hook me up a little something, something. We can just, we can just shove it. Okay, this is, it looks like he does care. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. Okay, so we were able to solo kill him. We got a nice auto queue. I was thinking Lee could gank at any point, but... Oh, man. Mmm. That's fine. Like, I'm here. Yeah, let's just leave. Lee's pathing is not 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 desirable, not not ideal, but it's fine. Like it's could be worse. We're chilling. It's gonna push back. We just have to wait, be patient, not lose half our health before it hits. I would like to freeze it, but it's gonna be tough. I need to like get the way frozen and do damage to him. Let's go. We gotta kill. Okay, there's no shot this wave is going to get frozen. 0% chance. So let's go. Let's give up on that dream. Got the cannon. Nice. Nice. I'm going to see us in God. I don't know. I need to learn Mundo more because I don't know when the cleaver goes through or not. It seems fucking random. It's fine, though. I'm just going to shove this out because Mundo is probably on a base, right? I think Mundo is basing. We shove it out. We get a base as well. Start working on that Nashies. I'm in a good spot. We just have to be, you know, I die very quickly to Mundo. He's does kind of a cracked amount of damage, so. That should push out, right? I don't, yeah, that, that pushes. The cannon, nice, the cannon hits. It's fine. I have Ignite. This is kind of free. It's not warded either. It's like really free, actually. Wait, Lee, dude, why is this guy perma farming? Why is he perma farming on Lee? Uh, bro, is this not free? I'm wait. It's fine. I'm patient. I'm patient. It's fine. I'm not gonna tilt. Any day now. Any dude, dude, is this? It's fine. This guy's asking to be killed. Where the, where the wave is, too. There we go. Okay, patience. Patience goes a long way. I'm a patient man. It might be a little too late, but I'm still down. Go ahead and grab those Krugs while you're there, Lee. Don't worry. It's fine. We're chilling. He's not level six yet either. Yeah, I think he he really shit the bed with, with his path thing. Like we can gank that thirty years earlier, man. It's rough. I'm done to I'm done to dive though. You gotta take it first. This it's fine. We're really okay. Kha'Zix is bottom still. 
Okay, it's fine. I'm not sure what this guy is. I'm not sure what his deal is, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take a base. Actually, I'm down to risk the one v one. I might honestly get plowed. To be honest, Moodoo might kill me, but I think I'm down to risk it. I, I'm gonna limit test this. I might get absolutely plowed. We'll see. I know he does a lot of damage, but get Moodoo TP. That's fine. Oh, oh, is Lissandra TP? Oh, crap. I thought it was Moodoo TP. That's why I started shoving. Yeah, it's fine. I think just Herald, maybe? Like, I don't think we're gonna get this. What about Kha'Zix? Sure, I'm down. I'm tanking. It's, that works, that works. Kha'Zix is bottom. Okay, we'll take it. I guess it's fine if I tank. Lissandra's bottom, Kha'Zix is bottom. Okay, that worked out. I took it. I, I, I tanked. That's fine. Mudo's gonna have TP soon-ish. I don't think he has- I think it's actually 10 minutes. I think we timed that properly. Okay, we'll take it. Lee just power farming. It was a little irritating, but honestly, it's like, no, I'm just being a baby. I'm just spoiled, right? If I get this wave and I sell my Dorans and my pot, I have Nashers. It's super worth it. I was just being a little spoiled. I'm not gonna lie. It was ended up- it ended up working. I have to, I have to be a little more patient. Nashers is huge here. I hate selling my Dorans this early, but it is what it is, right? I have a full item. Or we could just... Maybe we'll just do this then. I don't... I don't like the idea of selling Nashers, uh, Dorans there. I feel like it's really strong. We'll get that. I'm not gonna be as strong, but I don't have Ignite anyway. So, like, realistically, I'm not killing this guy anytime soon. We're having a good early game. We first blooded him. We're, we're doing lane things. Bot is a slugfest, man. I think you should have pressed R just so Kaisa gets to kill him. Nice. Nice, that's really big. Poor fairy girl, she got pooped on. Lissandra ganks are tough. Um, Leaves bottom, it's fine. I mean, Harold's gone, right? Kha'Zix is two and one, does he kill me? Mundo's freezing. I can't do shit about that. Um, do we have TP? I'm dead. Man, fuck. He has ult and everything. He's got ult up. That's, um, that's fucked by me. I shouldn't have done that. Mundo has TP, so I'm a little scared of this. I'm going to go run at him. Yeah, there it is. Maybe that blind actually helps. Yeah, uh, you know what? Whatever. Mm, call it a jungle gap, to be honest. Just call it a jungle gap. Make it easy on ourselves. Hey, you got a kill. That's a good... I mean... That's a good TP. Good job by him. He, he took TP. Oh, a jungle gap for us. Okay, that's great. Kha'Zix can't kill me again. I have Ignite. He has no R. Okay, perfect. Two for, two for, two for three. Nice, good job. Okay, we'll take that. That's really good. Codex and Drake, that's fine. Okay, well, that's really big. Good job, Lee. Jungle gap for us is what I was saying, you know what I mean? I had to be less hard on my jungler. Just more patience, I guess. Just more patience. Farming is fine, right? We don't need to power gank. More patience. I get top turret here. I get first turret still, right? I get first turret. We'll take it. I'm on my way. Kha'Zix is going for a scuttle. We should get him here. It's a shutdown. I get one shot, so I have to wait, but... We don't want to do it? Okay, that's fine. Kha'Zix one-shots me. I'm going to wait right here. I don't want to give this scuttle. Oh, 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 they're fucked. That's fine. Not gonna take it. Kha'Zix is somewhere. They get a one for one bottom, that's totally fine. Oh, Kha'Zix, okay, there's Kha'Zix. This is fine. Oh, this is really good, actually. Oh, fuck us. Oh, that's fine, I'm going for it. I'm going for the long haul. Oh, fuck, 
Where is he? He's gonna wait right here. Oh, okay, I'm here. Oh shit, I forgot there's no turret. It should be good. Teemo has CC. Uh, one of us dies. Kha'Zix is here. We gotta roll. We gotta roll. Kha'Zix is here still. We gotta go. Okay, it's fine. I get a kill. That's all good. That works. That's fine. I get a big shutdown. I have to make sure I don't get popped. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. I mean, sure, I'm down still. I don't want to die, though. Okay, I'm just going to leave. That's fine. That's huge. That's huge. It's big money on me. Big money. Big money in a whammy. Big money in a whammy. Kaisa is scaling. I don't need no no orb this game. I need need my need I need my items and I need Zanyas, right? Let's get Zanyas now. I've got a big shutdown. Or a stopwatch rather. Okay, it's winnable. Um that's a little it's a little close to that wall. This is kinda okay. Lissandra does not have R. Kha'Zix, we see Kha'Zix. Nice, that's fine. Nobody died. It's okay. Could be worse. Hey! Good bot wave. I'm fed. I'm gonna grab this. That's fine. Pike doesn't die. We don't need to fight this. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. Looks like we are. Oh, that's big. Wait, that's huge. Wait, that was the best Seraphine ult I've ever seen. I got scared and Zanya's. I mean, I got scared and flashed. He doesn't one-shot me, right? Yo, we chase this guy. He's not that fast. Pike? I got I got bootsies. That my flash is sus. Wait, this is fine. We get Leona. My flash is sus for sure. That's fine. We get a kill still. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. They have two drakes, but it's Cloud Soul. Oh, who cares about Cloud? I'm gonna grab top wave. I can catch that. Who cares about Cloud Soul, right? We're good. Uh, do we care about Cloud? Fight. Okay, I mean... On my way. I'm grabbing this, and I'll be on my way. Does he live? Give it is. <laughs> okay, give it is. <laughs> give it is. It's fine. We're giving it now. <laughs> that made our decision easier. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't be the one that feeds, the one that gives Drake, and then make the FF vote. It doesn't work like that, man. You gave Drake. You got caught and gave Drake. You can't throw the FF after that. We're trying our best to carry ya. What? I don't want to die for this. I'm out. It's fine. This pike literally died, got caught, gave Drake, and then started the FF. Bruh? You okay? We're trying our best still. I think we win 5v5 still, to be honest. But we had to play it well. It's, a, it's like a skill. It's a skill based 5v5s. Is this fine? Oh, what is that? Still fine? One person on our team died. Pike died. How is Pike always dead here? Wow. Oh, oh no. Mmm. That's uh, fine, I guess. I'm still down to fight this. How does Pike keep dying? I'm gonna look for Cossacks, right? Does he know I'm in this push? Oh, oh. Hold up. Oh, my camera's locked. Wait. No, okay, my... 
I don't know what was going on. Wow, I can't believe that actually happened. Jeez. Wait, we can do it. We can melt this. Oh, okay, they're checking. Do we have any sweepers? Nice. I mean, I think we can, like... Yeah, I'm down. This is good. This is good. But this is still good, I think. Wait, we're all... I don't think... How is our whole team dead? How is our whole team dead, bro? How do they get one shot? Ah! Ah! Our team actually all died to Lissandra over the wall. They actually just died to that. Like, how? Ah! Pike's not Pike's not playing. This is the Pike. This is the Velcos from last game that also went like three and nine. So it looks like he's just having a rough evening. Don't mind me. Just trying my best. Press the attack is tough. I feel like it. It was good for laning phase, but after lane, it becomes hard, very hard to use. It's fine though. We're okay. We'll be okay. It's still winnable. I'm not that tilted. My way. Pike just needs to stop dying. <laughs> Do we? I mean, I think Cloud Soul is fine. They can have Cloud Soul. If we get Baron, it's fine. If they, if we, if, the, if we don't get Baron, it's not fine. Okay, not round two. Not round two of dying to Lissandra, right? Please get off the Baron, guys. Oh, man. Okay, we got the Baron. That's cool, I guess, but... Kais is dead. Our team is, is really rough. This is... We're playing without an ADC and without a support. It's pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. It's hard. They've got all five working members. Our bot lane is not, not really playing. Let's keep trying our best, though. Doing Baron there is pretty sus, to be honest. We're trying our best. We're trying our best. I'm going to grab red, I guess. Do I look for a pick here? And Draven's mid. Giving Cloud Soul for Baron is fine, but not if we get Ace for it. You know, that's not what I. It's not what I was trying to communicate. I think Void's probably okay here for Mundo and Leona. Leeson also should be doing a bit more. I feel like that champion's still kind of overtuned. It's just, it's rough, but let's keep trying our best. Sure, I'm down to just say fuck it, Aram. Like, I, I can't trust my team to stay mid without me, right? There's no shot I, my team's gonna be doing this, and I, I can't, I have to be here. Like, I can't just, my team's gonna die if I don't stay mid with them. So it's fine, we're just fishing. Sure, let's just push. A ram it. It's fine. Maybe get a nice dive. We'll see what happens. Maybe a good Seraphine ult. I know I can't go up for the turret. That's kind of okay. Okay. That's fine. Mundo's coming behind us, huh? Mundo's zoom zooming behind us, so. That's okay. Mundo, that's really early from him. I'm autoing. It's really good for us, actually. I got blind. Oh, this sound just putting in a lot of work. Can we end actually? If I can get a pick, we can end. We can definitely end actually. I said 100%, but I don't think I'm 100% about that. I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> okay, good job. Mundo went really early. That Lissandra. Whenever Lissandra's buying time like that, oh no. Oh man. Sure, nice. Totally worth it. Okay, you gotta kill. It could be worse.
Honestly, if you got a kill, we'll take it. Whenever um, Lissandra's doing all that, we just have to blind Draven. That's the play. Lissandra goes in, she ults and Zanya, she buys a lot of time. We just have to like wait there and blind Draven. Uh, sh I'm a hauling ass. She is cleansed, it's fine. If she can get to me, this is fine. Okay, it's fine. Mundo TP'd for that, right? Or did Lissandra TP for that? I am gonna take it. I'm playing pretty well. That was Lissandra TP or Mundo? I think it was Lissandra. I don't know though. She needs gold, that's fine. I have Void. I think Void's the right play here. Uh, Mundo, Leona, like big beefy frontline. Maybe it's not the right play, but maybe Cosmic Drive's better, honestly. But it's fine, I think. I think Cosmic Drive actually might be a little better, but we see one good fight. I think like this is super winnable. Everything that's happened so far leads up to this super winnable moment. Like sure, Lissandra might just carry, right? This Lissandra's putting in so much work. Or Kha'Zix might just get a pick. But it's super winnable if that doesn't happen. I was gonna push this out. I usually get very scared to split, but Mudo can't kill me. I'm down, I'm on my way. We got a pick, that's good. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pushing bottom. Yeah, this is fine, I have bot pushing, that's good. Can we get inhib? What about Baron? Maybe we just get Baron prep. Good flash by Muda, to be honest. I I think we can look for a pick. I, we want them to fight, right? We should probably just peel off for Baron. I don't think we should be trying to dive. We have mid prior, we have bot pushing. We just definitely grab Baron. Let's make sure I don't die here. He might be dead, actually. Okay, that's good. It's really good for us. She's in Azania's as well. Okay, nice. Okay, that was really good. I just got a fucking pick on Kha'Zix. Let's just, let's get Baron and Elder. There's no shot we fight that, right? We just get Baron? It's a huge pick. If they rush Elder, that's going to be stinky for us. But this, they're, they're trying to fight us. It's 5v4. This is great. It's a 5v4. They're stinky. Oh, that's fucking huge. That's really big. Oh, baby, we just hard carry it. Oh, oh, let's go. I am performing today. I am performing. This game was not easy. This game was not easy. We'll take it. Oh, that Kha'Zix pick was huge. Nice. Holy shit. That's this is a feels good game because we, we had to pop off to win this. It was not 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 easy. Nice.